The Chicago Bulls have been enjoying an extended homestand, but it comes to an end tonight. Live from the United Center in Chicago, it's the Chicago Bulls and the Indiana Pacers. It should be a great one tonight. Hello again, everyone. I'm Steve Paschal. Welcome to Game Time and World Champion Bulls Basketball on Sports Channel. This is the Bulls' fourth consecutive home game, and so far, they've been perfect on this homestand. But tonight's game against the Pacers may prove to be the most difficult of the four. Indiana is still a game under the 500 mark, but they have been playing very well. And tonight, they try and nudge closer to that final playoff berth in the Eastern Conference. Everyone knows about the Bulls' success of late, especially in the 90s. And let's take a look at what the Bulls have accomplished the past five years compared to other teams which have been in the upper echelon the past five seasons. Remember, Michael Jordan was gone for a season and a half within this span, yet the Bulls still own the best mark, 298 wins in the last five seasons. Time for Norm's Corner as we bring in the former Bull and four-time NBA All-Star Norm Van Leer. Well, here we go with some playoff-type atmosphere tonight as the Bulls come in with an all eyes really on Dennis Rodman who returns from a one-game suspension and without Tony Kukoc and playing against the team who's really playing their best basketball of the year so far. Well, no doubt about it. I think Tony's going to be missed, and especially in rotation uh, with a team such as Indiana. But at the same time, I think the Bulls can master this, get Dennis back in the lineup. You're going to need him because the physical presence of the Davis boys, as we put it, uh, put it to you that way. And I, need, I know you're going to need Dennis. But I tell you what, the emergence of Jason Caffey, even Dickie Sipnius, if he can perform and repeat what he's done in the past, I know it was against a lesser opponent, but you need those guys. And the sooner they grow up, the better this team's going to be, the more uh, exciting they're going to be, and the deeper you can go into that bench. Bill Winnington's back in there, and I tell you what, he can add some outside punch with that shot. If, but once again, when you miss a few games, you got to get back in the rhythm, and I still say that's hard to do in the NBA, but uh, if anyone can do it, the Bulls can. You brought up Dickey and Jason. There are two guys who are taking up some slack for Tony and Dennis. Simpkins finally came out of a hole on Wednesday and wound up with big numbers, scoring 11 points while pulling down nine rebounds. And what's the trick for these guys, Norm, especially in the case of a Dickey Simpkins? He just looks like, it looks like he has to be awake more. Well, everybody likes to tease me because I use this word. I've been using it all my career. Attitude. You bring a certain uh, the demeanor about yourself to the court, and you have that uh, attitude to the point you want to be better. You, you're not satisfied with anything you do, no matter how well you play. As long as you do that and go forward, Steve, I think you can improve. Well, Jason Caffey has been bringing a very active uh, offensive game, especially off the glass. Always improving his offense move, offensive moves as well, whether it's hitting the short jumper, driving into the lane and scoring. He had a double-double against the Spurs, 11 points and 10 rebounds, and Jason's playing well. No doubt about it, but once again, his demeanor, he wants to score. I think he loves scoring, and when he looks at the hoop, as Michael will call it, it's the black hole when it gets over there, because <laughs> right. it ain't coming back. And you know what? His attitude, I'm going to score, and I'm going to make it happen. But he brings about an, an attitude that I want to be better, I want to get in this lineup, and I tell you what, he made a comment, and I said this last year. I don't know how he would approach this year by not being on the roster last year for the playoffs. And he made comment in the last couple of days that he's going to show that he belongs and he will be there. So you've got to have an attitude about anything you do. As long as it's positive, That's right? It. Well, let's see what uh, our play-by-play -play team is up to. They're always positive. Here's Tom Doerr and Johnny Red Kerr now. We're down at the UC. Hi, guys. What's up, Cash? And it sounds like we're kind of on the same wavelength as those guys, John, because we want to talk about the same thing. Bulls, as a team against San Antonio, I think played really well. But the nice thing was that the bench came on, got a lot of minutes, and made the most of it. San Antonio was without a lot of their frontline players, but so were the Bulls. Remember, Dennis was facing that suspension, that one-game suspension. Uh, you had Tony Kukoc, who was sitting on the, the bench in his three clothes, and Bill Wennington on the injured list. So it was time for the bench to step up, and boy, didn't they? Take a look at this. Nice numbers. Judd Bushler with 12 points in 19 minutes. Dickie Simpkins, Johnny, as you and I have been talking about, almost had the double-double. Kerr, Parrish, and Brown with 90s. Jason Caffey, 11 points in 36 minutes. He started in place of Dennis Rodman, but he's a guy that has been coming off the bench and been playing pretty well. There's another guy that we wanted to talk about, though, and that's Bill Winnington and the fact that he's come off the injured list, John, and he comes off tonight as the Bulls take on the Indiana Pacers. This is a big time for them because Rick Smith is a big guy who's strong. He can score. He posts up. He caused a lot of problems. Well, you would figure that uh, Rick and Luke Longley will pair it off most of the night. But when they go to the Davis boys, Dale and Antonio, my, a little bit smaller lineup, you might see Bill Wennington in there because I don't think Phil is going to want Luke uh, to be chasing these guys around or Robert Parrish chasing them around at the perimeter. So it's good to have Bill back just in time. 
Davis guys, big, strong players who run the floor, don't shoot it very much, and that's what Bill Wennington can do, maybe step out a little bit on the floor, take a couple outside shots and open it up. All right, that's our early line. Let's go back to the studio. Cash? Tom and Johnny, thank you. And still a lot more ahead here as we continue our coverage of the Bulls. We're going to check out the new point guard. This happens to be their old point guard. We're talking about Mark Jackson of the Pacers. Later, it's the Reverend talking about this guy. As Lacey J. Banks gives the word of the worm an ultimatum. Plus, we're going to look back at the first time the Pacers met the Bulls. It's a game which went down to the wire. It's all coming up on Game Time as Sports Channel presents Bulls basketball for a Friday night. Chicago Bulls Game Time is brought to you in part by Dodge, who welcomes you to visit the friendly Dodge dealer near you to see their new lineup of 97 Dodge cars and trucks. And by Carex Muffler and Brake. For exhaust, brakes, and shocks, Save a bundle. Call the Car X Man. How can a car win Strategic Vision's Total Quality Award, have more room than Chevy Lumina, more power than Toyota Camry, more standard features than Ford Taurus, and still have a price this reasonable? It's puzzling. Dodge Intrepid. This changes everything. You've done the math and figured out that you can consolidate bills and still afford to make some home improvements. But the lenders tell you that you don't have enough equity. Hi, I'm Dan Marino. If this has happened to you, call First Plus Financial at 1-800-510-PLUS. They'll lend you up to 125% of the value of your home, less your first mortgage balance. There's no application fees and you'll get an answer before you hang up. Don't listen to those other lenders. Call First Plus at 1-800-510-PLUS. To survive in the city, you need some help from above. The two people swimming, one went under. Someday, strap into one of the most dangerous machines ever built. Meet the people who save lives and patrol the unfriendly skies of the most congested airspace on Earth. I've always wanted to be a helicopter pilot, and I've always wanted to be a cop. Choppers on Patrol, premiering Sunday at 9 Eastern, 8 Central on the Discovery Channel. Explore your world. Time once again for the Reverend. He, of course, is Lacey J. Banks. He writes for the Chicago Sun-Times, and he graces us with his insight once again. Tonight, he has a few choice words for the Bulls' controversial forward, Dennis Rodman. Sisters and brothers, let us pause for a moment of silence in memory of a few more Bulls friends who used to believe in Dennis Rodman before he killed their trust with his latest suspension. Now this latest suspension you remember is because he uh, struck the growing area of one Joe Wolf, a reserve center of the Milwaukee Bucks. Now the referees who were called in that game, they did not see it. He only called a double foul when Wolf embraced Dennis ever so fervently with both of his arms. But in this day and age, there is a gentleman who sits high in New York City named Rodney King Thorne. And after every game, there are videotapes FedEx to his office, and he looks on a great big video screen and every iota of evil that is missed by the referees called in the game, Rod Thorne sees it. And that's why he was able to suspend Rodman. Now that's the third suspension this year. That means that's 14 games he's missed. And that also means that Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen just have to shoulder a little bit more of the rebounding burden. And that's not fair, especially to Scottie Pippen. You realize that that $9 million contract that Dennis Rodman signed this year is more than what Scotty will make in almost four seasons with the Bulls. Somewhere along the line, Jerry Reinsdorf, I hope you remember how Scotty is punching in every game this season and putting his all on the line. And Dennis Rodman, if you're listening, please 
straighten up and fly right. So much riding on you. But then again, I don't know, maybe he doesn't want to play basketball next year. And that's no crime, but it's a terrible waste of superb talent. And I'm Lacey Banks for Full Court Press. The always dramatical uh -huh. Lacey Banks for Full Court Press. The Reverend yes. Lacey Banks. <laughs> On a serious note, no, Lacey's great. He brings up a great oh. point about Pippen and his salary. But uh, what about Dennis now? All right, he comes in with a game where he just came off a of suspension. Can he just play his own game, or is there always something more to Dennis's game? And the referees and Rod Thorne are looking at him with a, with a uh, what do we call it, a uh, magnifying glass. Well, certainly. I got binoculars on. I'm looking at him. And yeah. you know how you put it. You're going to look at Dennis. And this is, as soon as you think it's died down, something has happened. If we're going to go on track records, something else will happen in a matter of days if you go that route. I said it before. I don't think Dennis has changed. Until he changed, he's not going to change, if that makes sense. So we look at it from that point of view. Who knows what's going to happen? But when you break it down, you talk about team concept and the team effort, the team has to be a little fed up and tired of maybe picking up and picking up the pieces with Dennis leaves off. And uh, I think they need to cover that up. I think Dennis has to straighten up and respect his teammates a little more. You can't continue to do this and expect your teammates to accept you with open arms, or the fans, for that matter, or the coaches, for that matter, or Jerry and Jerry, for that matter, in the front office. So somewhere along the lines, you got to come and straight and bring it out and get this championship back to the Chicago Bulls or defend it because enough is enough. All right, it's a huge night in the NBA. 12 games and 24 teams in action. There are a number of good matchups, including the Pistons meeting the Jazz and the Rockets bumping heads with the Lakers. Here's a preview of those two in our Fast Break segment. It's another stiff test for the Pistons tonight on the road as they face the Jazz in Salt Lake City, Utah. Detroit has won four of its last five and ten of their last 12, but are still eight games behind the Bulls in the Central Division. Meanwhile, the Jazz continue to own the best record in the Western Conference at 43 and 16. Jerry Sloan's club tuned up for tonight's battle by whipping the Mavericks by 31 two nights ago. Overall, the Jazz have won 20 of their last 24 and are 28-3 at home this season. In Los Angeles, the Lakers try to put an end to the Rockets' three-game winning streak. Nick Van Exel was unconscious from long range in his last performance, a 37-point effort thanks to eight three-pointers. Lakers are still having problems without Shaq, going just 6-7 and seven since his injury. As for the Rockets, they appear to be back on track, winning seven of their last nine. Hakeem Olajuwon is carrying the load these days for the injury-depleted Rockets. The Dream scored 31 points and grabbed 11 rebounds in Houston's last outing, a win over Golden State. Now here's a glance at the other matchups this evening in the NBA. On this week's Bull Sox Underground, we all know everyone's talking about baseball's dynamic duo. But what do Frank and Albert think of each other? Albert's Albert. Albert's more, you know, just leave, leave him alone and just let him have his space. He's not looking for any attention. He just don't want to be bothered. Plus, join host Tom Waddle as he learns the art of the three from the master and find out if Ozzy and company can survive the fitness test. Plus, much, much more. Bull Sox Underground, Sunday night at 7. Underground. Underground. Did we create some magic with Dodge Stratus? We used Cab Forward architecture to make it bigger inside than Accord, Altima, or Grand Am. We gave Stratus a smaller price than Altima or Accord, yet its resale value is better. We gave Stratus more standard horsepower than Contour or Accord, so it's surprisingly quick. Now, saving our best trick for last, we'll put this price on Stratus and watch it disappear. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. I'll trade you this Michael I'll trade shoulder. you Saul Bellow for a Birch and Russell. Oh, you have a Saul Bellow? Yep. Did you guys know Enrico Fermi won the Nobel for discovering radioactive elements? Oh! Here he comes! Chicago has had more Nobel Prize winners than any other city. Could it be because we're so well-traveled? United. Hometown airline to one smart town. No way you're not getting my Jane Adams. Oh, come on. <laughs> come fly our friendly skies. 
Bulls basketball is back on Sports Channel Tuesday night as the world champs travel to Beantown to take on the Boston Celtics. Only place to watch this game is here on Sports Channel. We'll get things going as always with our pregame show game time. And notice the early start time that night, 5.30 with the pregame. The game to follow shortly after 6. Tuesday night, Bulls and Celtics right here on Sports Channel. Bulls are closing in on a few milestones, both as a team and in individual cases. As a, few, as a team, they are just four wins away from making it a perfect 100 at the United Center. Individually, Robert Parrish is just two appearances away from appearing in a league-best 1,600 games, while Michael Jordan needs just 103 points to pass John Havlicek for the sixth place on the NBA all-time scoring list. Let's see what's on the mind of the head coach tonight. That's Phil Jackson. He is with Tom Dore for tonight's Mercedes-Benz Conversation. Phil, an interesting time for your ball club now in the next couple ball games. Let's start with tonight because Indiana comes in in a ball club that's starting to play a little bit better. I think they've won four of their last five. And Reggie Miller has seemed to come back to life a little bit in the last three or four games. Yeah, I think there's a big uh, amount of disappointment with Reggie this year, obviously sitting out most of training camp and then coming back and getting off to a slow start. Uh, injury, various things happen to you when that uh, goes on, and he just had to have the stellar year. Snubbed to the all-star team, and he came out and he started playing up to the level that everybody expects from Reggie Miller. Very critical shooter and a crucial player. And now they've had, added Mark Jackson at the trading deadline, uh, along with, uh, you know, a few people like Tang Thompson who came in, and uh, they, they're giving them a new inspiration, a spark, and this team is now playing with more uh, dedication. Now, they're still missing McKee, and that's a big part of their offense or their defense because he gives them so much of a, a, a player that does like Scotty Pippen. They brings the ball up makes good passes maybe not biggest scorer scotty but a very fine defender seems like in the last last few ball games that i've had a chance to see indiana rick smith's plays really well in the first half and then he just seems to fade in the second half that's got to be very tough for him and for their team the rumor is is that you know his feet are still bothering him after that foot operation uh, rick has had lower extremity problems i think for the last four or five years knees and now his feet and that's always a terrible sign for big guys at that point when they reach a 31, 32, up in those years, it starts to really affect him. And uh, I think Rick's one of the best talented shooters in the NBA for his size. He's a great scorer, just pure scorer and shooter. And, you know, the effectiveness of having him in both halves, being able to play at the level that uh, they've had him for the last three, four, five years has hurt them completely in the offensive end. Defensively, this seems like a ball club living like New York or Miami, a clutch and grab and push you, that kind of a team. Do you try and, and I don't want to say up-tempo, but once you get the ball across half floor, half court, do you try and move a little quicker, get a little crisper stuff going? Well, that's a real good one. They're going to overplay the wings. They're going to give you pressure and body pressure, physical scrum type game. They get ugly, these kind of games. And, uh, the game that probably we had to watch to prep for this game was Indiana versus Cleveland on Wednesday night and that was really a, a one of those kind of games that they're just bodies flying all over the place and shots that weren't hit 24 second clock violations and that's just the kind of way that Cleveland uh, uh, makes people play but Indiana has adopted the style of play because of their New York rivalry over the last three years and they're a very physical team we're gonna have to play very concise use automatics ball movement to create spacing all right thanks Phil good luck tonight all right Conversation with Phil Jackson is brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. Come see the award-winning 1997 E-Class at your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer today. Mercedes Nissan Maruniwa. Subetteno Mercedes Sedan. Onaji Sedan John Garu. Anzen Kino wa yoku shiteru na. Sekigai Sen Rocking System. O omosuroi kapuholu daka. The Mercedes C-Class, reasonably priced, surprisingly well equipped. You've done the math and figured out that you can consolidate bills and still afford to make some home improvements. But the lenders tell you that you don't have enough equity. Hi, I'm Dan Marino. If this has happened to you, call First Plus Financial at 1-800-510-PLUS. They'll lend you up to 125% of the value of your home, less your first mortgage balance. There's no application fees, and you'll get an answer before you hang up. 
Don't listen to those other lenders. Call First Plus at 1-800-510-PLUS. What you gonna do with all the cash you save? Brakes need work? Stop at your local Car X. You'll save a bundle during our half-off brake sale. Lifetime guaranteed brake shoes and pads are now half off. That's 50% off when you drive into Car X for brakes now. What you gonna do with all the cash you save? So stop by Car X for big savings on brake shoes and pads. But you better hurry. Our half-off brake sale will be half over before you know it. Save a bundle for the Car X man. On Thursday, March 27th, Norman and I will host the Bulls party at halftime, Sports Bar and Grill in West Chicago. That evening, the Bulls meet the Toronto Raptors. We'll be there at 6 o'clock. Included in our show is a trivia contest and a question and answer session with Norm, something you don't ordinarily get to do. Halftime in West Chicago is located on 27 West, 103 North Avenue, which is one half block east of County Farm Road. Come join us Thursday, March 27th. You know, one reason the Indiana Pacers are playing their best basketball of the season is because Rick Smith is finally healthy and they have Mark Jackson running the show. Here's a guy who was traded to Denver from Indiana, then back to Indy and is showing the Pacers' top brass he never should have been let go in the first place. Moments ago, our Lou Canella spoke with Mark Jackson. Do you find it kind of ironic that when they made the trade, they said they wanted to get younger, maybe a little bit quicker, they moved you to Denver, brought in a couple of younger guys, and sure enough, when it came down to it, the guy that they needed most was Mark Jackson. Did that make you feel a little bit good? Oh, it made me feel good, but uh, this is a class organization, and uh, God had a plan when I went to Denver, and I, I thank him for allowing me to go there, but also uh, for, for having a situation where I can come back to, because a lot of organizations wouldn't have made the move to bring me back. So um, it's just great to be back, and uh, a lot of relationships that I've developed the past couple of years here. i played for Coach Brown for three times now. Um, Donnie Walsh is just superb, and um, it's just, just a lot of fun being back, and um, brings back a lot of memories. I know when a guy comes to a team, a new team, he might be a little quiet at first and then kind of blend in. What was it when you came back? Because this team desperately needed your leadership, as I just said. Did you come back and just grab the bull by the horns, Mark? Well, certainly. The first time I was traded uh, to Indiana, um, I was pretty much laid back, and, and it hurt my game because that's not me. Um, I thought that this team had some success, and I didn't want to come in there and try to rain on anybody's parade. It hurt my game. Uh, the second year, I came in with a whole different attitude that I had to be me. And with that, my numbers went up, my play went up, and um, when I came back here this time, there was no pulling any punches. This team knows what I can do. They have a lot of respect for me. They listen to me. Um, and I just said right away, I had to come in. There was no time. We're in the middle of a playoff race. And um, I had to come in and be myself. And that's being a leader, and that's pulling no punches and trying to be a spark plug. It's nothing special, just out there working. And speaking of being a leader, Jackson comes in as the NBA leader in assists, averaging 12 per game and is one of only two guards in the league, averaging a double-double. John Stockton is the other. Do the Bulls have problems with guards like this? Well, they have problems with the quick guards that score, basically, from this type of game. But Mark is more of a guy that gets everybody else involved with their... Uh, with his passing. That's why he leads the league in assists. And you can't find better shooters than you have in Reggie Miller out there. What I do like about Mark in recent uh, games I've seen him, at least this year, he's not as fancy as he has been. He gets the job done. And when there's a key play, a key situation, a lot of times in his career, he gets a little fancy with it, and it's not complete. I never thought that the Indiana Pacers would win a championship with him running the show. I always felt that way. I think he's matured a lot more. I think the trade has brought him back, back to reality and he's moving the ball. I think there's more of a serious attitude that's taking place with him and Indiana now, like you mentioned there. How many teams will trade you and then bring you back? It doesn't happen at all, at all in the same year. Absolutely. Well, Chicago Bulls basketball is just around the corner. As we go to break, some comments from Scotty Pippen on the Pacers point man and what the Bulls need to do to stop him. Well, he does. And, uh, you know, we know how effective Mark is. He's going to have the ball in his hand most of the time so I think the biggest problem we're going to have facing this team is getting back in transition and you know not letting them get the ball up the court early and 
finding guys like Smith and inside and, you know, Jackson uh, pretty much making the plays for him. Chicago Bulls game time is brought to you by Dodge, who welcomes you to visit the friendly Dodge dealer near you to see their new lineup of 97 Dodge cars and trucks. Did we create some magic with Dodge Stratus? We used cab forward architecture to make it bigger inside than Accord, Altima, or Grand Am. We gave Stratus a smaller price than Altima or Accord, yet its resale value is better. We gave Stratus more standard horsepower than Contour or Accord, so it's surprisingly quick. Now, saving our best trick for last, we'll put this price on Stratus and watch it disappear. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. By now you should know that receiving cable television without paying for it is a felony in Illinois, punishable by one year in jail and a $10,000 fine. During March, your cable company is offering legal cable TV connection without fear of prosecution, but you must call now to sign up for cable legally. This is your last chance, because on April 1st, if you're still receiving cable service without paying for it, I will see you in court, and the charge will be a felony. This is the second meeting of the season between the Bulls and Pacers, who will meet two more times before the end of the regular season. The first time they met was back on December 30th. It was a game played in Chicago, and it went down to the wire. Let's take you back to the end of the year, 1996, and Indiana came to play Norm Antonio Davis with the two-handed jam. Pacers led by 13 after one quarter and nine at halftime. Second half, Bulls start chipping away. Michael, who scored 17 in the third quarter, buries the three. Michael finished with 28. Bulls were down four going into the final quarter when Dennis Rodman tipped in. This Jordan missed. Worm had 11 points, 21 rebounds. Then you'll see Scottie Pippen split the Pacers D. Goes down the lane, scores, and is fouled. Bulls had a four-point lead. Game, a game came down to the final possession. Bulls leading by two. Vincent Askew misses the jumper that would have tied it. Bulls hold on for the 81-79 win. And uh, we'll see what happens tonight as Michael and Rodman had big games there. But notice Reggie Miller right there with just 13 points, missing 13 field goals. And is this the type of game maybe we see Randy Brown going back to what Mark Jackson can do? Maybe Randy comes in a little earlier and puts some D on uh, Mark Jackson? Well, de definitely this uh, way the game is going to be played, see how Harper's going to feel, how he comes out, and how he approaches it. Certainly would not be bad to go to your bench if needed to go to Randy Brown once again. If Mark Jackson is penetrating and scoring, I think it, uh, then the Bulls will have a problem with that. But Mark is not that style of ball player. In the open court game, when he's running up and down the court, if indeed Indiana's getting the ball running, then the Bulls are in trouble. They're not rebounding, not doing their job. They may be in trouble that way. But the half court game, if it settles down to that and Mark is penetrating, kicking off and hitting Reggie on the outside, you may have some problems with that. And that's where Randy can come in. All right, let's cut that off and keep that from going. That's why I say it's a little different than playing against the Stoudemire's and those type of people. When they penetrate it and they go to who, they're scoring first and then passing off second to their teammates to make it going because they're the main ingredient for this uh, basketball team to get points in those little guards. I don't think Mark is going to be that big of trouble. I may lose and second guess my own words here, but I really don't feel his penetration is going to hurt us. All right, coming up, Bulls go for a win number 53 on the season against just seven losses. Bulls and the Pacers and Dennis with a new hairdo. Stay with us. Boy, I hate homework, but it's supposed to help me. Dad says homework helped him get our new saber. He studied about safety and stuff, and which car is supposed to be the best buy. Then he found out he could get gas for a whole year. His homework must have worked, because everybody sure loves our car. And they were really nice when we bought it. Dad says I'll appreciate homework someday, but he says that about my sister, too.
world champions are resting at the top of the NBA mountain. Like a great king overlooking his vast empire, the life of a Bulls player is one of leisure, almost too easy. But everyone in the NBA doesn't have it so easy. Some people are fighting for continued existence in late April. The Indiana Pacers are one such team. If the regular season ended today, they would miss the playoffs by three games. So for them, every matchup is of utmost importance. Every opponent, a means to an end. Tonight, these two long-standing rivals collide in what could be a preview of the first round of the NBA playoffs. And while one team sits comfortably at the top of the NBA heap, the other is scratching and fighting to stay alive. Their struggle continues next. We are still seven weeks away from the opening round of the NBA playoffs, although this game has a postseason type atmosphere. The Bulls are hot while their opponent is an up and comer. Live from the United Center in Chicago, it's the Chicago Bulls and the Indiana Pacers. Hello again, everyone. I'm Steve Cashel. Welcome to the Buick Dealers Warm Up Show and World Champion Chicago Bulls Basketball on Sports Channel. Tonight, the Bulls look for victory number 53 on the year and their 30th at home. Overall, Bullies have won 10 of 11, 17 of 20, and 27 of their last 30 games. Indiana, meanwhile, enters with a mark of uh, 29 and 30, but playing so much better since making that trade for Mark Jackson. It should be a good one tonight as we send it to the United Center, see what our play-by-play -play team has to say about it. Here's Tom Doerr and Johnny Redker. Gentlemen. All right, thanks, Cash and John. An interesting ball club now. Indiana's playing a little bit better in the last five or six ball games, and a guy that's really stepped it up for them in the last three is their leader, Reggie Miller. Ah, Miller time. Yes, it's always exciting when Reggie tees it up against Michael. 27 points a game in his last three. He's got that field goal percentage up, 48%, shooting only about 44 on the year. He has done a great job, and of course, with Mark Jackson back, that really helps him. And look at this guy here. He came back from the injury, Rick Smith. He's struggling a little bit, though. He should be up around 18, 19 points a game. And I think those bad wheels are still bothering him, Tommy. Makes a big difference, John. He starts off very well in the ball games, but by the second half, it just seems like he can't get it done. His counterpart tonight for the Bulls, Luke Longley. Johnny, last couple ball games has put up some nice numbers. Luke has done a nice job. Look at that, almost 11 points, 10 rebounds, and three blocks a game. They need his presence down in the middle, and of course they get Bill Wennington back, which will be great. Makes a big difference for them, obviously. Now, John, you look at the Eastern Conference standings. You see the top eight. It stops at Orlando. Indiana is just right now out of the playoff hunt, and you know they want to get back in. Absolutely. One game off the 500 mark. They want to get going. Larry Brown wants to get this team heading down towards the playoffs and get him into it. Chicago Bulls set to take on the Indiana Pacers. We'll take a break. Steve Cash will be back right after these. Sports Channel's coverage of Chicago Bulls basketball is brought to you in part by your local Chevrolet and Geo dealers, people you can trust when you're looking for a good car value. Discover Card, proud partners of the Smithsonian's 150th anniversary. United Airlines is proud to be a participating sponsor of tonight's program. Come fly Chicago's hometown airline. Come fly our friendly skies. Brewery Fresh Budweiser, who reminds you fresh beer tastes better. Electric Avenue Montgomery Ward, where great brands and great prices come together. Experience cars and trucks built with a passion for the road, Mazda. Payne Weber, when you invest with Payne Weber, you invest with more intelligence. W1 by Raymond Weil, the cutting edge in time. And by Ameritech, your link to better communication. He didn't want to be tied to a desk. When he started his business, he was already looking 20 years ahead. When you're 25, who takes the long view? Or finds a broker who actually asks, where do you want to be? Your business becomes your life. I know that now. He knew it then. And I have a feeling he's still looking 20 years ahead. How's he doing it? More research, insight, understanding. Payne Weber. Invest with more intelligence. I like to say we don't make anything, we make everything. We've got parts in uh, airplanes, in uh, surgical tools. This is uh, 18 cents of plastic, but a uh, $20,000 car won't start without it. 
uh, things people don't think about. Uh, a faucet valve or a, uh, a light switch. Somebody made that. I don't need to have my name stamped on it. Um, it's on the door. It's your life's work. Does your bank understand that? Mom, it's easy. Just open this window, type HTTP colon slash slash dinosaurs. Wait, 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 wait. Getting on the internet can be intimidating. Okay. Dot net slash tilde. What's a tilde? But now with internet access from Ameritech, it's as easy as point and click. Mom, what did they teach you in first grade? <laughs> Ameritech, your link to better communication. Coming up, the opening lineups and the opening tip for tonight's game. Bulls and Pacers up next on Sports Channel. Stay with us. It's smart time on the Mazda Protégé LX Sports Sedan. 13445 Add cruise and power everything and the price goes to... Add air conditioning and the price jumps to... Add four speaker cassette and the price soars to... Add the best basic warranty in its class and hey, you get the idea. Now get the passion. And 2.9 for 36. by Sony for just $14.99, a JVC 27-inch stereo TV for just $3.99, and a 21-cubic-foot refrigerator with three ice maker for just $5.98. So get into Montgomery Ward and get them while they're hot. Just a reminder, next time you need a little help getting airborne, the 50,000 employee owners of United Airlines would be more than happy to help. Come fly our friendly skies. This morning, a quiet man in Wales decided to stir imaginations around the world. Soon, classrooms became kingdoms. Dinosaurs roamed the earth. And all it took was the wave of a wand, the twinkle of an eye, and suddenly he could open minds, take dreams farther, and create more excitement than ever before. He wasn't always so powerful, but with FedEx, it's the way the world works. The Indiana Pacers come in at 29 and 30, the Chicago Bulls 52 and 7. This has been one of the good rivalries over the last few years. Indiana is playing better. We'll see if they're able to step up tonight here at the United Center. Now, let's meet the starting lineups for the Chicago Bulls.
So the Bulls will gather back around Phil Jackson. Discuss their plans against the Indiana Pacers. Let's take a look at their starting lineup. Brought to you by Montgomery Warden Electric Avenue. Larry Brown will have Mark Jackson and Reggie Miller. Pharrell and Dale Davis and Rick Smits in the middle. For the Bulls, Phil Jackson puts on Ron Harper and Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippen, Dennis Rodman back with us this evening, and Luke Longley. Guess who else is here? Who's that? Luke, and uh, look at that smiling Hi, face, man. What's up? What do you got, partner? I'll tell you why I'm smiling, because bull starters have really had a chance to recharge their batteries, guys, over the past seven days. Let's look at an interesting graphic. Bulls over the past three games has had it easy, meaning Michael has played an average of six minutes less per game, Scotty eight minutes, Dennis six minutes, and in Rodman's case, he even missed the game, the last game, because of his suspension. So let's keep an eye on the Bulls. They should come out with a lot of him and vigor tonight, and they've got a big weekend. Indiana tonight, the Knicks at Madison Square Garden on Sunday. Back to you guys. Reggie Miller, think he'll bow again tonight? I hope he doesn't get that chance. <laughs> You ready? I'm a little extra tonight. Why not? Get that drink covered. There we go. Drink covered. If you don't have that covered, <laughs> you don't have a chance of getting the sore throat like we do all the time. Our officials for the ball game this evening: Tommy Nunez, Joe Borgia, and Eddie Rush. Did you see what Michael? The nice comment that he had about Dean Smith and what a great coach yeah. he'd been, obviously. And I, that was class. That was a really nice thing to do, obviously, for a guy who's been your coach and he. MJ thinks an awful lot of them. You can tell that. How do you like the new hairdo? Uh, I can't tell. Is that Alamo Dome or whatever they call it? The Alamo Dome, kind of? Alamo Dome, I don't know. Dwayne Farrell adjusting his glasses. Dwayne Farrell against Scottie Pippen, I think, going to be an interesting matchup tonight. Luke taps it, and Ron Harper picks it up. Bulls normally start at the other basket. Bulls shooting a couple percentage points higher than Indiana. And now they've spread out their offense. You just saw one of the things that happened is Reggie Miller's call for the body. Phil Jackson talked about in his pregame show how they're going to change the entry into their offense. They're going to put somebody up at the top of the circle and then cut off of him. You're going to see some changes in the triangle throughout the game. Not all game, but at times throughout the game. Now Luke goes away. See how widely the Bulls have it spread. It's about a step and a half further than where it normally would be. Michael with the fadeaway jumper. Harp tapped it. Loose ball inside. Dennis saves it back to Luke from 17 feet. Luke Longley. Second shot opportunity starts off right away. Dennis with a rebound, his first in a couple games. Jackson brings it to the right side. A terrific at delivering the ball to the right side. Oh, yeah. Smits with the jump hook. And John, in the first half of games, Rick Smits has really, I've seen their last game, what, two or three games. He has really played well in the first half, and then the wheels just seem to fall off. He just can't keep the intensity going. Both centers start off with their opening basket. The two baskets, the two shots by Scotty and Michael, both short on the front of the rim. Morrell, baseline jumper, and Rodman with the rebound. Bulls are concerned about Dwayne Farrell. Yeah, he's a good shooter, good spot-up shooter. And a guy that just keeps improving. Mark for three. The Bulls have tried a couple of those. Neither have fallen. Farrell, baseline with a little reverse layer. He gets down a court and gets into that spots up in that corner. He's had some time with the Atlanta, a few teams around. Just how you draw it up. Good job. Michael got trapped. And Rodman came up, gave him the, the pass back. Beautifully done. Luke with the steal. Balls three on two. Dennis is on the opposite side. Scotty in the middle. Oh, yeah. Scotty hard to the basket. Dennis was open on the left side. Scotty was the trailer, and he slams it on down. Reggie Miller behind the three-point strike. Rodman comes over, taps it away. Gives it right back. 
Hart spots up, thought about the three inside. He looked for Luke. It's tapped out. The officials asking for help. It'll be Bowles' ball. Off his shoulder. Larry Brown can't believe it. See that little patch on Larry Brown's pocket there? On the lapel, sure. That's number 35, and that's for Roger Brown, oh, yeah. the great uh, Indiana Pacer who passed away, ABA player. Oh. Scotty goes up and gets out. He'll go to the line for a couple. You and I talked about Roger Brown the other night. Fans yep. in the NBA never got a chance to see him. Well, he could light it up, couldn't he? Sure. Here's Michael's play with uh, Dennis. He fires it to Dennis, goes to the hoop. Dennis gives him a return pass, and he just hammers it in. And then here comes Pip as the trailer and knocks that down. And now he splits the two free throws. Seven to four now, Bulls with the lead. Davis backs his way in, puts it in. Longley looking for it, fights for it down low, puts it in. Luke gets that big United Center cheer. Luke picking that one off the floor, firing it in. Jackson goes into the corner. Reggie Miller put that one up. It's tipped off Michael. It'll be out of bounds. Hey, baseball fans, the Sox are back. The first of Sports Channel's 99 games this Sunday when the Sox take on the Red Sox. So it's the Sox are going to win. Frank Thomas and Albert Bell. How much fun will that be? Davis backs his way in. Mark Jackson. He does that a lot, you know, he, he jumps up and lets the ball go at the top of the peak, and that time he jumped right up into the chest. You saw it. MJ goes on top for Scotty. Luke comes through the lane, came up a little short, fights for the rebound, can't get it. Mark Jackson. Smith moves in, puts it up, and Dennis Rodman right there. Scotty in the middle. MJ's on that side. Oh, yes, sir. Fast break. Scotty picking who he wants. Michael Jordan with that hammer. And they're going to take a timeout, I believe. 20 wow. second timeout. 20 second timeout. Sports Channel I'd like to welcome our affiliate TCI of Illinois and the viewers in Charleston and Mattoon, Illinois. Let's take a look at this. Michael already got one of these power dunks. Scotty comes down, gives him the ball. Mark Jackson's going to stop him. Oh, no, he isn't. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Show me again. I want to see it again. All right. There's Harp over to the Pip. Pip knows where everybody is. He flips that ball over. We'll take a break. 7.42 left in the first. Bulls lead at 11-6. Before the game, most coaches talk strategy. Our coach talks to you. It's a triangle offense. You, me, and Sports Channel. Catch a conversation with Bill Jackson, sponsored by Mercedes-Benz, during every Bulls game time on Sports Channel. me she loves me not she loves me right now get a new chevy lumina with low 4.8 percent apr financing with dual airbags and automatic transmission the lumina still starts at a thousand less than four taurus and with 4.8 percent financing for up to 48 months this could be the start of a wonderful relationship she loves me You want to see my Discover card statement? I am very, very prissy. Whatever, shut up! 
I love to be pampered. I go have my hair done. I love to go have my nails done, have pedicures, manicures. My biggest weakness would have to be shoes. Hmm. Cashback bonus award really floats my boat. How many credit cards make a statement like that? I am definitely a shopaholic. It pays to discover. Use it where you see the Nova sign. Indiana Pacers inbound it. 13 on the shot clock. Reggie Miller on the right side goes down low for Smith. Jump hook. Rick Smith. He goes to the middle, makes that bounce off of Luke's body, comes back like almost with a rhythm. Jay with Reggie Miller and an offensive foul called. Dennis Rodman called for the screen. Said that he threw the shoulder and forearm out. Uh oh. I thought he threw that ball away, but Tommy Nunez was going to get Still disagreeing with the official, which I'm sure surprises a lot of people. Dwayne Farrell with it on the wing. And is it a holding foul on Scotty? This is going to be, if, if they call this close this will be a foul laden game. oh this will be because that's how this is how indiana plays they clutch and they grab they're getting more and more like new york and miami with that holding defense try and hang on to you reggie miller for three reggie ties the ball game at 11. So with it, and you see what Smith is doing inside with Luke. That's how they're going to play the Bulls as much as they can. Hold, grab, Scotty with the turnaround jumper. Rebound loose inside. Rodman tipped it but couldn't hang on. The Bulls, as I said, are going to try and spread it out a little more and change the way they get into the offense. And I think you'll see that as the game goes on. MJ right there against Mark Jackson inside for Smith's turnaround jumper. Pip. And again, the Bulls push the ball up the floor. MJ, 12. No, Luke tapped it. Scotty right there. Yes. Five for Pip now. He's got two rebounds and two assists. What the pick? Reggie Miller comes around the screens. Good help by Ron Harper. Mark Jackson puts it in from the top. Luke got, oh, how about that? Rick Smith lost his man. Well, coaches always used to say, John, if you lose your man, go to the basket. You'll probably find him. Well, he's got two nice plays. Now, one to uh, uh, Rodman, one to uh, Michael and the stuff, and then this one to Luke Long. Miller looks inside Smith. Looks it in again. with a one-point lead is MJ. Starts to back it in against Reggie Miller. Comes inside. <laughs> Went around his body and was trying, I think he was trying to get it to his left hand. Michael Holland and Luke now. Well, goes down low. Smith. Fakes the turnaround jumper. A running one-hander finally does bounce in. Big points apiece for the center. Big quarters for both of them. Look at this. They didn't get picked. Good move by Scotty. Avoided the defender. They didn't see Pip down that sideline. Well, they called out. Play for Rick Smith to come across, post up, and that's just what he does. Comes down low, tried to pass it. Dennis Rodman tapped it loose. Dale Davis right there. Oh, yeah. Pacers lead it by three. Caught up on four minutes left in the first period. Hip went through and a foul call. On Saturday, March 15th, when the Bulls take on the Atlanta Hawks, it's Dominic's and Tony's Pizza Night at the Bulls game. The first 10,000 fans in the United Center will receive a Bulls apron. Compliments of Dominic's and Tony's Frozen Pizza. Neil Harrington wants to wish his teacher, Alicia Eisner, a happy 23rd birthday. Sid Port, also a happy birthday, now celebrating down in Palm Springs. Now, if the teacher was 23, how old would Sid be? <laughs> 
Should I ask? Sid, Sid is the other end of the oh, Okay. He's a good man. Pacers lead it by a pair and have the basketball. Indiana shooting it very well. Ball's not bad. Jackson likes to penetrate and find the open man. That's what he does so well. Reggie Miller hits another three. Their guards at nine points all on threes. Reggie with six. Michael starting to go off the screen. Now comes the other way and puts it in. Bumps into Ron Harper. Fakes the shot, doesn't take it. Ball was tipped and all hits, yeah. <laughs> Scotty across the timeline as the Bulls get set. Pip, top of the circle. Jumper puts it in. Long deuce. I thought that was a three, but that's 10 points for Pip here in this quarter. On about three minutes left in the first period. Dale Davis goes right side, Mark Jackson. Antonio Davis basically playing center now. Rebound pulled down, Antonio Davis. And inside they go to Dale Davis for the slam. Boy, if Dennis didn't get that rebound, they don't pick it up in this end. Yeah. Top pulls with a wide turn. Ball bounced off the backboard. Indiana's doing a very nice job defensively now. Forcing the Bulls out of what they want to do. Reggie Miller with it. Fakes the shot. And double double dribble. Tommy Nunez says, you did not have it knocked away. 2.17 left in the first period. The Pacers just got a technical and they laid it. W1 by Raymond Weil, the cutting edge in time. Time for the next generation. W1 by Raymond Weil. Ten years ago, Acura changed the world of luxury automobiles. And now they've done it again with the new Acura 3.5 RL. Come to Pauly Acura in Highland Park and see the new Acura RL's distinctive look and impressive styling in a no-pressure atmosphere. The Acura RL offers much more than good looks. Test drive the RL. Experience its quality, luxury, and performance at an affordable price. See how one dealer can make a difference. Pauly Acura on Route 41 in Highland Park. On Saturday, March 22nd, when the Bulls battle the Detroit Pistons at Chicago Tribune Post tonight, first 10,000 fans in the United Center will receive a Bulls poster, compliments of the Chicago Tribune. Reggie, Reggie, got a technical foul. You know how many technical fouls Reggie Miller got last year? An unlucky number. 13. 13. Charles Barkley and Dennis Rodman led the league. 29 technicals apiece. That's a lot of fine money. Well, I'll bet you he said more 
and that getting that technical than Dennis has in getting a lot of his technical. Dennis's actions get him technical. MJ pops out. Tries the rocker step. Backs in. Spins. Got it in the air. Put it up. Didn't go. Reggie was going to make up his mind. Yeah. Michael was going to get that shot off, but he did get it off and drew the foul. Now watch him. He, he'll give him the up fake. Reggie's going to go with him, and then when he gets him up in the air, he just goes after it. Phil talking to Scotty. And that ties it up. Just under two minutes remain here in the first period. And three guys score for the Bulls here in the first quarter. Kept Michael and Luke. Luke with good help comes over. And it's tough. I mean, Antonio Davis shoots it from 16, and I think, John, you'd normally want him to shoot that shot. Yes. But he made it this time. MJ steps out on the floor. Reggie Miller comes over to double team. Harper from 16 feet puts it in. Rick Smith's got a little rest. He'll check back in in a second. Looking across, and MJ was right there. You jump and throw a ball in the wrong place in this league, and you get taken away a lot. Well, that's why Jalen Miller doesn't get a lot of time. Three by Harper. That's another $52 donated to Charitables from Carrox Muffler and Brake. Every time a Chicago Bulls player hits a three-pointer. Comes off a mistake by them. Oh, I heard the official say on the floor, Ron Harper called for the foul. Smits comes in. First foul in the last two minutes, so it'll be taken out on the side. Jalen Rolls, we don't see, didn't see a lot no. of time. Dale Davis uh, gets the break. Steve Kerr will check in for the Bulls. Jordan the harp over or the pip harp in the corner and lines it up. Let's go with the three. Travis Best will check in. Mark Jackson drawing the foul. Reggie sits down. Best was not what they thought he would be best at, being that point guard. That's why they had to go back and get uh, Mark Jackson. Best is a better two guard. Rose. Picks up his dribble inside. They'll go Smith. It's tipped away. Antonio Davis puts it up. Missed it. Puts it up again. Muscles it up and in. That's a strong move. Makes it 30 to 29 now. Bulls have made seven in a row the last five minutes. Hart made a couple of those. In the corner, Steve Kerr for three. Oh, Steve was dry last game. One for seven, but he puts it up. And another $52 from Carex to Charitables for a three and every other three. You see what's left. Shot clock is off. Travis Best with it. Seven seconds, six seconds. Best gets into the corner. Rick Smith from the baseline with three seconds now. With a little time. Kerr gets it ahead. Luke Longley for three. A little strong. Oh, that came close. We play one period here at the United Center and the Bulls lead the Indiana Pacers 33 to 31. Your name, please? Michael Jordan. I've made shots at the buzzer. I've been in championship games. But I've never had butterflies like this. Show me your horn. Turn These people are all business. Okay. Good thing I had my Chevy Blazer along. Sure came through in the clutch. D O F T P Z L C D O. Get a seat over in the blue chairs and wait for them to call your name. I not only renewed my license. Smile, look at the camera. I renewed my confidence as well. Just a reminder. Next time you need a little help getting airborne, the 50,000 employee owners of United Airlines would be more than happy to help. Come fly our friendly skies. I-55 is backed up for miles. 
Where's Daddy? I don't know. He's never been this late. The London broil sounds delicious. <laughs> I don't think he's ever coming home. Here's one, Mommy. Non-smoker likes children. Top breadwinner. Come on, Boomer! Hmm. Maybe you could use one. Ameritech Cellular. Get a free Motorola phone and free nights and weekends all year. Ameritech. Your link to better communication. His kids are in college. You'd look at him and you'd say, he's got it made. But now it's not about making it. It's about keeping it. You can't assume you're going to coast home from here. He knows that. And his broker must have known it all along. Sure, it's about keeping it. But it's also about enjoying it. How's he doing it? More research, insight, understanding. Payne Weber. Invest with more intelligence. Chicago Bulls basketball is brought to you in part by Genuine Chevrolet, the cars more Americans trust. And by Budweiser, saluting America's responsible drinkers who know when to say when. Back at the United Center, and our next Bulls game on Sports Channel will be Tuesday night. Bulls will be in Boston to take on the Celtics. Now note, game time and tip-off. Game time, 5.30, tip-off, 6 o'clock Tuesday night as the Bulls take on the Boston Celtics, and the Celtics were given the heck to the New York Knicks tonight. The Knicks were really fighting. Well, at halftime, they're up 15 points, and they blew that. And here we go at the first half stats, Tommy. Pacers made 14, Bulls 13 with the same number of shots, and they both assisted 10 times. Well, you think the game would be close then, right? It would. And it is. 33 to 31, Bulls with the lead over the Indiana Pacers. Travis Best brings it to the wing. Antonio Davis posting up down low. He just doesn't have much going right now. Double the turnovers. MJ looks down low. Jason Caffey was there. He takes the jumper from the top. A long deuce from MJ makes it a four-point Bulls lead. Jalen Rose with it in the corner. Back off him. Well, you'd think that's where they'd start to go. He had a great first quarter, and Jason Caffey right there for the rebound. He came out, and I don't think they've thrown the ball again. MJ comes off the screen. Double team, had it partially deflected. Luke comes over to the corner, Steve Kerr. Luke right there puts it in. Chuck Bushler up off the Bulls bench. Six-point Bulls lead now. Mark Jackson comes off the screen. Smith's baseline jumper, and he hits again. Facing the basket, he is really tough. Yeah. Makes it tough for you to guard him. He's got long arms, big, tall, 7'4", 7'5". As Michael hits a three. And another $52 from Carex. Muffer and break. Some charitable. Michael right there defensively. Rick Smith comes over. Phil Jackson talked in his pregame show how they will run a little screen and roll. But he said when Smith is involved, they really do. They don't do it very well. Bulls get the turnover. Luke Longley playing a little point guard. Scotty with the turnaround and traveling call. Pip didn't agree with that. They go on the road with the Hawks Wednesday as they travel north of the border to take on Toronto. Free game starts at 6. The opening faceoff 6.30 Wednesday on Sports Channel. What Hawk fans want. Judd Bushler in the lineup for uh, Scotty Pippen. And also Fred Hoiberg in for them. Chip Schaefer down talking to Scotty as MJ gets the turnover. No look pass inside Luke and he travels. He took one little extra step. There's Chip Schaefer talking to Pip. He might be bleeding. He might have a little cut or something like that. Now he's kind of blinking hard too, like he may be a little dazed or something. Best kicks it back out. 
Smith turn around jumper. Back to the rim. Luke went for the rebound. It's loose on the floor. And Judd Buster comes away with it. 40 to 33. Bulls with the lead. MJ just backs him in. Had his pass deflected. Luke trying to come up with it. Dives on the floor. Good hustle. But Reggie Miller is right there. Pushes off against Michael. Reggie across the floor. Fred Hoiberg drives inside. Off the glass. Nope. Rebound loose. Out of bounds. Bulls ball. What's his little bump here? It looked like a, an offensive foul, but uh, Reggie flips it across court. And who? Uh, I saw somebody coming in here. Dale Davis, was it? For Smiths. Uh, he'll come in for Luke, I'm sure. Dennis Rodman will come back in for Luke. Not a lot of guys out there now that can get their own shots, so they better stay into their, their offense. Luke, see if he tries to power his way inside. He does. Now the fadeaway rolling hook. Luke would tell 12 points. We love that hook shot. Oh, Where's it man. Been? Double MJ. Antonio Davis with the fake in the lane came up short. Jason Caffey threw it to MJ. Michael had it go off his head. He's got, got a smile on his face as he brings it up. Her. Top Jason Caffey, shot clock at eight at seven. Michael gives it right back into the corner. Good ball movement by the Bulls. Got to get a shot now. MJ's got to get it off quick. He does on the way. Nope, and it did not hit the rim, so. Shaking his head a little bit, looking over at Steve Kerr. And Jeff Bushler. Luke comes out. Luke gets a nice round of applause and the Luke call from the fans. Rick Smith with that long jumper. It's the only basket in this quarter for them with 750. Best comes inside. And Jason Caffey comes over to help. Good quick move, and that's where he's better off than being that point guard. The guy that can make the quick, quick move. There it is where Jason pops him. Want to thank Jim and Ruth Vasecki from uh, Vasecki's Bakery. They sent some Kolachkis, best in Berwyn. Down those on the way home in the car. Some of them. Scotty Pippen comes back. Jeff Bushler so checks out. Pip had to get a little uh, micro surgery. Not even that. Huh? Not even micro that. Micro band-aid. One well, of the team doctors came over and talked to him for a second. He seems to be all right now. Yeah, yeah a fingernail scratch will put you out. You have to get yeah. that covered. Pip gets it to the wing. Dennis Tipton, loose ball. Jason Campy comes down with it. Nice day. Oh, yeah. Good decision, Jace. <laughs> Into good hands. Michael smokes it down. He's got 16. But a nice offensive rebound that time by Jason. Now this best comes around the screen. Antonio Davis and Scotty were fighting. Oh, good nice. play. That was right by Steve Kerr diving down to find MJ. Back to Scotty. Quick pass in the lane. Pip couldn't get it. Antonio Davis fights for it. Out of bounds. It'll belong to Indiana. We get a timeout. 6.56 left first half. The Bulls lead at 44-35. On this week's Bull Sox Underground, we all know everyone's talking about baseball's dynamic duo. But what do Frank and Albert think of each other? Albert's Albert. Albert's more, you know, just leave him, leave him alone and just let him have his space. He's not looking for any attention. He just don't want to be bothered. Plus, join host Tom Waddle as he learns the art of the three from the master and find out if Ozzy and company can survive the fitness test. Plus, much, much more. Bull Sox Underground, Sunday night at 7. Underground. Underground. It's smart time on the Mazda Protégé LX Sports Sedan. 13.445. Add cruise and power everything and the price goes to... Add air conditioning and the price jumps to... Add four 
your speaker cassette and the price soars to add the best basic warranty in its class and hey you get the idea now get the passion and 2.9 for 36. Montgomery Ward. Like a PC by Sony for just $14.99. A JVC 27-inch stereo TV for just $3.99. And a 21 cubic foot refrigerator with free ice maker for just $5.98. So get into Montgomery Ward and get them while they're hot. The Bulls 13-6 rebounding edge so far in this game is the big reason why they're up by nine. Just a moment ago, we saw both Dennis Rodman and Jason Caffey fight for the basketball. There goes Michael up for the layup. Dennis goes up for the tip. He can't get it, but there's Jason Caffey. He'll dish it off, and Michael will finish it off for the slam. The Bulls have shot 65% from the floor in this contest, guys. Bill Jackson said prior to tonight's game, if we out-rebound Indiana by even one, that will be a big deal and will help in us winning. And so far, they've done it on the boards. Hey, Louie, uh, sorry to hear about your grandmother. I understand she's ill. We wish her the best. Wish her the best. She's... Resting comfortably at Christ Hospital, and if she's listening, I hope she gets better and gets out of there soon. I will say a prayer for her. Travis Best with it between the circles. Reggie Miller pops out. Antonio Davis with it. Spin move. High Archer. Did he call glass? No, he didn't. I didn't hear it, but he did get it anyway. He's got six now, and it's 44-37 Bulls. Goes away. Bulls run a clear out now. MJ tried to get him in the air. Couldn't. Scotty jump. Hook puts it in. Reggie. Well, check that. Scotty Pippen with that. Rick Smith gets ready to check in. I think you're going to say Reggie did a nice job on Michael that yeah. time. He did. And then Scotty just posted down the middle. And threw that jump hook in. Reggie Miller with that fadeaway jumper. Back of the rim. Jason Caffey right there. 46-37 Bulls with the lead. Ron Harper ready to check back in. Dennis gets it right back. Scotty got fouled. Lou Malnati ships their Chicago-style deep dish pizza anywhere in the USA. Just call 1-800-LOU to go to place your order. So Harp is in now for Michael Jordan. Mike leaves with 16 points. Pip to the line. He's got a dozen. Reggie leaves. Lou Canellis, what's up? Yesterday at practice, guys, Scotty Pippen told us that the team had to be mentally tough tonight against the Pacers and Sunday against the Knicks. They must be aware of what both those teams are doing on defense. That way the Bulls know what they can do on offense. Smits and his pass deflected. So that's the first time we've seen the Bulls put a little pressure on that time, and it was effective not giving the layup. 15 seconds ago, they'll put it in bounds. The Chief takes out his warm-ups. They get it into Smiths, and they'll reset their offense. Fred Hoiberg, top of the circle jumper, comes up a little short, and Dennis Rodman got it, lost it, and then got it back. 48-37 Bulls. Bulls with kind of a small lineup. Jason Campy from 15. Big jumper from Jason Campy. You're kidding Michael and Scotty call him in the black hole. They throw oh, yeah. the ball. It doesn't come back out again. <laughs> Miller in the corner. Puts up a long deuce. Reggie Miller from out there. 50 to 39. Scotty now as they come up with a double team. Bulls pass their way out of that. Caffey trying to go by inside. Got fouled by Rick Smith. The Chief will check in. There's the Chief. Getting the shoes set. Johnny, we got emails. Yeah. What? Well, this way, you know, we keep talking about the exotic locales that we get. Yeah. Emails come from Australia, yeah. Greece, and everywhere else. Here's one all the way from Buffalo Grove. 
She okay. says, since it's not an exotic locale like Australia or France, you probably won't read this, but she'll continue to tune in. Sally, we're glad you will. And you're right, we probably wouldn't read that. Steve Kerr with a long three, no good. Well, she's from Buffalo Grove. Right. Well, how's this one? So, Margaret Schiff. Steal here by Hart. Yeah! And Hoiberg picked the wrong time to follow him. Hart makes the basket. And he'll draw the free throw. The Chief got his hand on the ball. Dennis kicked it over to Harp. Harp was going to come on in here. Hoiberg comes in too late to try to stop it. He rolls around the ring and goes in. Michael Jordan going to come back in now. What I was going to say is uh, Margaret Schick is 80 years old today, and we wish her a happy birthday. And exotic places like Buffalo Grove. How about Portage, Indiana? Oh, there you go. So we mentioned all those. I mentioned Berwin already. Harp to three. And the Pacers won a timeout. 423 left first half. Bulls lead at 53-39. Wise. takes care of you like family. Fresh donut, bagel, cheese. Join the Rosen family of satisfied customers and get a car wash and breakfast every Saturday. They are all clean. Get a car wash and breakfast every Saturday morning at Rosen. Where you'll save a fistful of dollars. Rosen, Rosen, Rosen. Rosen, Rosen, Rosen. You'll get the best price for $500 in cash. The Morrow Auto Mall offers you nine showrooms so you can shop in comfort. With 2,000 new vehicles available, you can choose from 450 models of cars, trucks, and vans from 12 manufacturers. And you'll get the best price or you'll get $500 in cash. 2,000 new vehicles, a seven-day exchange policy of the best price or $500. But only at the Morrow Auto Mall, I-94 and Highway 50. Lit it here, and every once in a while we get an interesting email. And this won't work again, I can promise you that. But John, you got a good one here, right? Well, the guy said, "Hey, I was wondering if you could tell my coach, I hope, and that I want to marry his daughter. His name is Rick Paterazzi, and he lives in Pontiac, Illinois. So, Rick, Kevin, the rack man, Rakowski, is wanting to marry your daughter, and he didn't know how to propose, so he thought Tom and I could do it a little easier. He wanted to ask for her hand, and he thought we could help. So we're asking for him. All right? Will you help him out? Yeah. Don't expect the gift at the wedding. There's our email address, bullssc at aol.com. We'd love to hear from you. Questions, comments, or interesting notes. We won't do any more marriage proposals, I don't think. I'm married, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, we're set. Rick Smith's with it. With the chief on him. Faked a couple times. He'll leave the defense. Dennis Rodman was, in fact, in the middle of the lane. So they get a fresh 24. That's just a warning. By periods, the shooting. Both teams really hot in the first. Bulls have continued. Indiana has slowed down a little bit. You notice Rick Smith's fading out more to corner like Ewing does now? Right, right. Bulls are 8 of 13 this period. Smith's with it in the corner. Comes through the lane. The rolling hook goes in. Bulls need somebody to come back. Finally, Scotty does. Fifty-three, forty-one. Bulls with the lead. Very high-scoring game for the Bulls. MJ baseline fadeaway. Jumper drops home. Mike with 18 now. He's got nine in this quarter. Robin with four assists, five rebounds. Good recovery. Here comes Reggie up for three. And the Chief and Dennis collide, and Chief hangs onto the ball. 
MJ tries to go by Jackson, got him in the air, thought there would be a foul called, none, but Dennis is right there with a rebound. Michael posts up. Michael thought he had him up in the air. Reggie Miller came up, knocked it, and it's out of bounds. On Saturday, March 15th, when the Bulls battle the Atlanta Hawks, it's Dominic's and Tony's night at the Bulls game. The first 10,000 fans in the United Center will receive a Bulls apron, apron compliments of Dominic's and Tony's frozen pizza. <laughs> you could have three. Find one you can have. I'll buy one for you. Hoiberg goes down inside for Smith. Johnny Rick Smith is Mark Jackson misses the three. When Smith came into the league, he just wasn't that good, but he has really developed into a solid player. Oh, yeah. Chief goes up and gets hammered by, uh, look like Schmitz. But no, it's by Mark Jackson. Lou Canellis is standing by. What's up, Lou? Yeah, let me follow up on that, Tom. Remember the first four or five years, this guy was abused by the fans, media, the press, more coaches, more than any other guy in the NBA. Last year, he had his best year as a pro. He averaged 18 and a half points per game, and he was asked about those days when he was abused in his first four or five years in the league, and he said, you know what? I'm as thick-skinned a guy as there is because I was verbally abused growing up in Holland. At the age of 15, Smith was six foot ten, and everyone used to make fun of him. So he said that abuse didn't bother him at all. Good pass that came over the top. And a good save by Dennis Rodman. Good hustle. MJ double team for a second. Reggie Miller reached in and picked up the foul. Johnny, you know I know what it's like to be very tall and very thin as a young man. Yes. It can be tough. Reggie picks up that third personal foul. Travis Best up off the bench. And specifically children are cruel oh, with other yep. children that have a disease, a deformity, or a tall, you know, extra tall. Whatever it is, if you're different. Not just saved by Dennis Rodman. He dives to the floor, comes back. He knows Mike's right there. Almost took the official out. In fact, that looked like a rolling block. Steve Kerr comes in. Ron Harper leaves. to travel. Two minutes left here in the first half. Bulls win at 58-41. Best comes around the screen. Looks for the opening. Jackson goes inside. Davis kicks it back. Mark Jackson with three on the shot clock. Drives down the lane. Reverse layup is good. 58-43. Bulls with the lead. Haven't been defense so much for the Bulls. It's this side of the floor, the offense, that's been good as Smith gets the rebound. Best gives it back. Mark Jackson from 15. Way off. Dennis Rodman with a rebound. Bulls have played very much an up-tempo game. They don't yes. want Indiana to get into this clutch and grab. And they know they're not very deep. Scotty, baseline jumper off. Mark Jackson with a rebound. Bulls can take a foul here. Bird lays it in. Very quickly, the Bulls try and come back. Chief is looking for somebody to pass it to. Finally found it. Burr goes on top. Double foul on Michael Jackson. Coming up at the half, our Chevy Geo halftime report. Cash and Norm will have first half highlights and Knicks at Celtics. And as I said, that was getting to be a pretty good ball game. We'll see how it ended up at halftime. Got a 20 second timeout. Bulls lead it 58 45. Lou Canellis is standing by. What's up, Lou? Knicks and Celtics, you guys talked about it earlier, Tom. Knicks trailed by 15 at the break in that contest. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, have come back and won that game. Another game Bulls fans should keep an eye on. Miami is at Washington. Yeah. And the Heat are blowing out the bullets by 20 in the third quarter. Take that, Jawan Howard. That's something. Remember, Alonzo Mourning isn't even playing for the Heat. 
MJ's talking about the contact with Mark Jackson. Let's see what you can find here, Reds. Well, he's down low trying to post up. He's got him all on the side, and, and they call a double foul, but the, the official held up a 33, but he wasn't near. It had to be. It's a Michael and Jackson. Fresh 24 in the shot clock. MJ comes around the screen, picked up. Scotty goes inside, Jason Caffey. Caffey, turn around, jump shot, came up short. Rodman fights for it, so did Scotty, and a foul call. It's a Scotty first, Pippen. Yeah, first in the last two minutes, the second one on Pip, so. He's got to add, uh, Caffey's got to add a little bit something to that turnaround jump shot. Those guys are standing there waiting for it. He's got to either make a move into him and then fade away a little bit. Travis Best tries to go baseline. Michael right there to cut him off. For three, Travis Best hits from the wing. Down the floor, MJ catches in traffic, put it up and a foul call with 20.8 left in the half. So Best comes with a three, uh, bumps Michael down and comes back, hits a three. So they go down the other end and on a long pass down, Michael's athletic ability goes up, gets him this one and they try to take the foul but a little bit like Scotty did last ball game. Remember that over yeah. the shoulder catch he made? Free throw percentage last five games for MJ just over 90 percent two before that 62 and a half on the year about 84. He's never had a season shooting below 80 percent from the line. 12 years in the league. Randy Brown comes in. Steve Kerr comes out. That is consistency for this guy. Get the rhythm going now. That's what's left in the first half. Bulls lead at 60 to 48. That was best. Waits for the movement to get going. Here it comes. Jalen Rose for three. Hits with three seconds left in the half. Let's see what the Bulls do here. Michael looks up the floor from half court shortened to the left. We played one half of basketball here at the United Center. The Bulls lead the Indiana Pacers 60 to 51. Now let's go back to our studio one more time. Here's Steve Cashel. Tom and Johnny, thank you. And coming up on our Chevy Geo halftime report, Norm and I will go through the highlights of the first half. We'll get Norm's comments. We'll also head to Boston to check in on the Bulls' next two opponents, the bad boys from New York and the Boston Celtics. Stay with us. But first, it's our Ameritech call of the half. Smith moves in, puts it up, and Dennis Rodman right there. Scotty in the middle. MJ's on that side. Whoa, yes, sir. Fast break. Scotty picking who he wants. Michael Jordan with it. Chicago Bulls basketball is brought to you in part by your local Chevrolet and Geo dealers. People you can trust when you're looking for a good car value. And by McDonald's. Stop by at McDonald's and pick up an order of America's favorite fries. Go get them. McDonald's, the official restaurant of the NBA. Come to my window. The music's back. Come inside, wait for the, light. the new loop. In some places, full-time four-wheel drive isn't a luxury. It's a necessity. The incredible seven-passenger Lexus LX450. Take the high road at your Chicago area Lexus dealer. We had an answering machine before this. I hated it. We threw the answering machine in the garbage can and signed on with voicemail, and we've had it ever since. On voicemail, if your phone is busy, it picks up right away. Someone can leave a message then, so you're getting messages whether you're on the phone or not. Act fast. Order Ameritech voicemail and get the third month free. Call 1-800-709-LINK and hurry. Time runs out March 16th. Voicemail is great. Ameritech, your link to better communication. What you gonna do with 
with all the cash you save. Brakes need work? Stop at your local Car X. You'll save a bundle during our half off brake sale. Lifetime guaranteed brake shoes and pads are now half off. That's 50% off when you drive into Car X for brakes now. What you gonna do with all the cash you save? So stop by Car X for big savings on brake shoes and pads. But you better hurry. Our half off brake sale will be half over before you know it. Save a bundle, call the Car X man. She knew where she was headed. And it wasn't to a bigger office with longer hours where you phone home goodnights to your kids. She has her own business now and along the way found a broker who kept her focused on where she was going. She gave up the big office and a view, but what she's seeing is her kids growing up. How'd she get there? More research, insight, understanding. Payne Weber, invest with more intelligence. Even though the Pacers are three and a half games out of the final playoff spot in the East, they are playing the best basketball of their season right now with Mark Jackson, who recently came over in a trade with Denver, providing a tremendous spark to this team. Tonight, they're in Chicago taking on the Bulls. And Dennis How do you like the new is back, and he's got a new do. Rodman helps out early. Michael in trouble, gives it up, and gets it right back for the dunk. Game was tied early on. At the other end, Dennis is going to get the rebound to start the break, and... And the Bulls go running, Norm. Yes, they do. When they're running, moving the ball, they're the best team in the world that can complete a fast break. Michael with a big jam. Michael leading all scores with 22 points. This is our Gillette replay. Pip to Michael for the poster. Pip has 14 points. Luke Longley has 10, and that's really a surprise. Luke with a steal right here. Gets it over to Steve Kerr. Misses, but Luke puts it back, and Luke has played well. Very well, and on the defensive end, too, Steve. Not just the scoring. He's deflected a few balls, gets fast breaks running, and... Doing a pretty good job on Smiths for the most part of the first half. Michael, 22. Rick Smiths with 14. Reggie Miller, just 8. And Mark Jackson only has 5. The Bulls have been in control. They've led by as many as 17. Still to come, highlights of the Knicks and Celtics, who just happen to be the Bulls' next two opponents. We're going to get you set for second-half action from the United Center as our Chevy GL halftime report rolls on for a Friday night. This halftime break is brought to you in part by Brewery Fresh Budweiser. Now introducing new Born on Dating. It's the day your bud was born because fresh beer tastes better. Oh no. had more Nobel Prize winners than any other city. Could it be because we're so well-traveled? United. Hometown airline to one smart town. No way you're not getting my Jane Adams. Oh, come on. <laughs> come fly our friendly skies. Scotty's got the stuff. And so does Montgomery Ward. Like a PC by Sony for just $14.99. A JVC 27-inch stereo TV for just $3.99. And a 21 cubic foot refrigerator with three ice maker for just $5.98. So get into Montgomery Ward and get them while they're hot. He brushes his teeth just like you. He calls his mother every Sunday just like you. He makes time for his kids, just like you. He brings his work home, just like you. He drives a Chevy Blazer, just like you. He has four NBA championship rings, just like... He drives a Chevy Blazer, just like you. I would like to show you my Discover Card statement by Paul Poundstone. Well, I don't know that my Discover Card statement has changed since I became a foster mom, because I always bought toys. But now, of course, privately, I'm forced to give them to the children. 
When I was invited to the inaugural ball, I, I did have to find a ball gown, and I like to think I found a lovely, understated little number. How many credit cards make a statement like that? I need cash advances. I just need to be slathered in, in, in ones and fives. It pays to discover. Use it where you see the Nova sign. The Bulls are about to embark on a four-game East Coast road trip, which will take them from New York to Boston to Philly, then to Jersey. Tonight, two of those teams, Knicks and Celtics, hooking up in Boston. New York comes in, winners of five in a row. 18 in a row over Boston, but leading the Celtics' old Rich Fox. He had 25 points at the half on five threes. He had 34 for the game. Celtics led by as many as 20 points. Third quarter, though, the Knicks wake up. Allen Houston, the three. Walter McCarty, then the three. Knicks finally even the score in the third quarter at 84. Then they smelled victory in the fourth. They took it over. John Starks, yes! Knicks up seven. They win it 113-102. Pat Ewing with 39. New York has won six in a row. Interesting game, Norm, because Boston up by as many as 20, and the Knicks come back. It's going to be a great game, Bulls and Knicks, on Sunday. Your prediction? It's going to be a good, uh, exciting game. I think Knicks being up at home, they're going to be pumped up and ready to go. They want to make a statement. I'm sure of that. I'm sure Van Gundy will be a little more pleasant about his comments toward Michael. You don't want to get him sparked up for a, a national game and getting ready for that. I do like the Bulls, but I think it's going to be very, very tough blowout type of game, physical and all that. All right. Second half action coming up between the Bulls and the Pacers right now. Bulls leading by nine at the break. When we go to break. Here's some more action from the NBA. Jaguar XK8 Convertible Dream Car. Just buy larger supersized fries and you can win this prize. It's our best Monopoly game ever. It's not mine, it's yours. What do you want with your prize? Mom, it's easy. Just open this window, type HTTP colon slash slash dinosaurs. Wait, 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 wait. Getting on the internet can be intimidating. Okay. Dot net slash tilde. What's the tilde? But now with internet access from Ameritech, it's as easy as point and click. Mom, what do they teach you in first grade? <laughs> Ameritech, your link to better communication. This compact Iowa audio system is a complete music center with three-disc CD changer, AM-FM tuner, dual cassette deck, speakers, and remotes. Call 1-800-BUY-IOWA. He didn't want to be tied to a desk. When he started his business, he was already looking 20 years ahead. When you're 25, who takes the long view? Or finds a broker who actually asks, where do you want to be? Your business becomes your life. I know that now. He knew it then. And I have a feeling he's still looking 20 years ahead. How's he doing it? More research, insight, understanding. Payne Weber, invest with more intelligence. It's smart time on the Mazda Protégé LX Sports Sedan, 13445. Add cruise and power everything, and the price goes to... Add air conditioning, and the price jumps to... Add four-speaker cassette, and the price soars to... Add the best basic warranty in its class, and hey, you get the idea. Now get the passion. And 2.9 for 36. This copyrighted broadcast of the National Basketball Association may not be retransmitted, reproduced, or rebroadcast without the express written consent of the NBA. Big weekend is being planned for March 14th and 15th at Nordic Hills Resort in Itasca. It's March Madness Bonanza with NCAA games going on as well as the Bulls who are playing both nights. Dave Corzine and I will be there Friday. Craig Hodges takes over on Saturday. Friday night we'll raffle off Bulls tickets for Saturday's game. That includes free dinner and a limousine to the United Center. For more information, call Nordic Hills Resort, 630-773-2750. going to be a lot of fun. Right now, Bulls having some fun. They had a big lead, but it looks like this one might go down to the wire. Bulls were in control most of the first half, but now it's nine. Well, it happened just before the half, and the Indiana Pacers started to hit some outside shots. I thought the Bulls 
relaxed a little bit and allowed some three-pointers to be taken and made, so it made the game a little closer. I still say what the Bulls have in the game plan and the bench, everyone included, the Bulls will maintain. Yeah, what I like about this game, all the bodies, everybody that's playing out there, very active. You keep that with the control of your game, Bulls will win. All right, second half is about to start. Right now, Bulls leading the Pacers. Following these messages, we'll head back down to the United Center. Tom and the big redhead, Little Lou, have the call of the second half. We'll see you after the game. Um, I think they're expecting big things out of uh, Frank Thomas and myself. Uh, and they should be. You know, they should be expecting some great things from the Chicago White Sox. And hopefully, we can give them a uh, tremendous treat to, to watch us this year. Budweiser, the king of beers, is proud to be part of another Chicago Bulls season. And introducing new Born on Dating, it's the day your bud was born because fresh beer tastes better. that answers that question. and I drive a Reed Rental 4. You always get your best shot at the great deal at unbeatable Reed Rental 4. Just look at this. Come to unbeatable Reed Rental's expansion sale on now. They've doubled the size of their car lot. Double the vehicles. Double the deals. Get 2.9% APR or $1,000 cash back on new Rangers. America's number one selling compact truck. Come to unbeatable Reed Rental 4. Brand and Green Bay. Just the three miles east of Great America. You the one who score here. When parked by Electric Avenue Montgomery Ward, where great brands and great prices come together. W1 by Raymond Weil, the cutting edge in time. And by the Discover Card, proud sponsor of the Smithsonian's 150th anniversary. Welcome back to the United Center. We're joined by assistant coach Frank Hamblin. Back in December, first meeting with the Pacers, Bolt scored just 37 points in the first half. Tonight, you rack up 60. Why the success this evening? Well, we've been working with them on our on their shooting. I'm just kidding you. Uh, our guys came out and played real uh, free and easy, I thought. We really had a chance to really stretch the league, and we got a little anxious there towards the end of the, the second or the first half. And uh, you know, we could have went with a bigger lineup or a bigger lead. And uh, you know, we're, we're, we've got to be avoid uh, Reggie Miller getting off on us in the second half here. Uh, stand across the board. You know, we, uh, we're, we're very good in every category. We have to limit, they shot 30 or 58%, so we have to uh, limit that. Rick Schmitz had 14 in the first half. How do you stop the dunking Dutchman? Well, we want Luke to get up on him a little more when he's facing the basket and, and force him left. And, you know, we, we'll also give him a little uh, help in the low post by uh, two-timing. Who's your buddy over here giving you a hard time? Well, I just hope, he, you know, he, he does a good job the second half. So do we. All right, thanks. Back to Tom and Johnny. <laughs> Tommy Nunez, his buddy, giving him a hard time over there. Here's our Payne Weber first half stats. Pacers 22 of 38. Bulls take a couple more shots. Make the same. Three pointers about the same. Pacers made a couple more. Bulls doing the job at the free throw line. There's the big difference. 11 more made free throws. 14 more taken rebounds. Bulls doing a nice job there, including offensive. And four more steals. We're live from the United Center in Chicago as the Chicago Bulls take on the Indiana Pacers. Along with my partners, Johnny Kerr and Luke Canellis, I'm Tom Dore. James Angio, Doug Stanton doing a great job in the truck. And as Frank Hamlin said, they were going to try and double down a little bit and give him a little bit of help. There comes Ron Harper, leaves Mark Jackson. Now the Bulls rotate. Pharrell blocked by Ron Harper. Then Pharrell got a hold of his face. Bob for Scotty in the jam. Good job by Harp. He was trying. They tried to hold him down there, but he did a nice job of getting the ball to Pip. Pip's got 16. Beautiful defense. Morrell. 
inside. Ball knocked loose out of bounds. On Tuesday, March 25th, Bulls battle the Dallas Mavericks at Sprint Yellow Pages Umbrella Night. First 10,000 fans in the United Center will receive a Bulls umbrella. Compliments of Sprint Yellow Pages. Miller comes around the double screen. It's by MJ, the runner from Reggie Miller on the right side. Reggie double figures. Harp thought about it. Now he'll take the three in and out. Lost it. Scotty right there. Can he pick it up? You bet. Bounces back to Ron Harper. He lost it and got it back. A stick on that ball. Luke Longley turn around jumper. Nope. Rebound tapped out. Loose. Still loose. Tapped out. And finally, Michael comes up with it. They don't have any balance here. They can't get themselves balanced. Harp bounces it. Reggie Miller knocked it away. Shot clock at 11, now 10. You're right, things just aren't going well. It's not flowing defensively. Scotty got tackled. Shot clock at 4 and 3. Who are you going to call? Well, normally, MJ. Still loose. Luke puts it up. Had it blocked. Uh, a foul. He stuck his left arm out right into his chest. Good call. Boy, that didn't look good at all. He'll take a 20-second timeout. Now here Luke gets a watch. He comes with the hand. On Saturday, March 29th, Bulls take on New Jersey Nets. It's McDonald Squeeze Bottle Night. First 10,000 fans in the United Center will receive a Bulls Squeeze Bottle compliments of McDonald's. Bulls had lots of chances, John, and they've had some second chance opportunities. And do you think it's the Indiana defense? Well, here's the block. Here's a good play by Harp. Uh, Farrell goes for the shot. Harper grabs. They try to grab him to slow him down, but he takes the ball, brings everybody to him, and then flips it up in the air. Pip catches and deposits. Ron Harper with a block for 48 minutes. Second in guards. Reggie Miller goes down low for Rick Smith. Smith's fake the pass. Now he'll take the shot. Rebound tapped. Loose. Smith tips it in. Came from the corner. Got right underneath to tap the ball in. I don't understand that. Took the fadeaway shot. And he still got back. Right there for the offensive rebound. Scotty with a post up with Pharrell on him. MJ comes through, Pip into the corner. Luke Longley high. Archer rattles in. Big Luke. First points of the second half. He's got 14 now. 64-55. Bulls with a lead. Runs to the wing. Shot. He wanted to get Michael in the air. Miller now runs into Luke Longley, and Luke stands his ground. Miller complaining. He's already got one technical. Scotty off the glass. Yes. Got it. Count it, and he's fouled. Michael with a smile on his face. He says, you weren't looking for that, were you, big guy? He said, no, but he put it in. And Pharrell picks up his fourth. There it is. Michael comes down. Watch this. He throws it over. Pip wasn't really expecting it, but then he picks it up and just goes off the glass. Scotty got a good ball game going. Five assists, couple rebounds, a steal. Bulls come out with some pressure now. Pharrell without the glasses. Reggie for three. Boy, you better get to him. You better get to him. He comes and gets it right back for him. 67-58 as Mark Jackson pressures Ron Harper. I guess what Frank Hamlin said, we can't let Reggie get started. He's got five points here to start up. Harp, fade away, short. Dennis tapped it, tips it again, tries to come up with it. Mark Jackson has it. Quiet crowd this evening at the United Center. Pharrell goes inside and a foul will be called. Luke Longley will pick up the personal. It's Larry Brown talking to the officials. Bill Blair trying to slow him down a little bit. Big Luke. Hoiberg comes in for Pharrell. Iowa State. 
it was part of their recent run of pretty good ball clubs at Iowa State. Reggie Miller comes around the screen, puts up the three. Nope, rebound tap. Scotty right there. Double team. Now the Bulls with a little advantage. No Four tricks. On no three. tricks. MJ off the glass and good. He tried to grab him. Miller said, I tried to grab him. Michael was too quick. He's got 24. It's another donation to your local Chevy Geo dealers from them to the James Jordan Boys and Girls Club when Michael scores 23 points or more. As he has done. Miller through and a foul called a blocking foul on Michael. One shot foul. Reggie can't believe that. Jordan second. Larry Brown hollering on the sideline. All right. He's been overruled here. So now he will shoot. Yeah. Give him two. Reggie this year, but 45% last year, 47 three pointers, a big difference, 42 and a half. Make it 69 to 60 now as Indiana starts climbing back in. Looks at a 17 point lead there in the first quarter, but they got a little tentative near the quarter. Here's the defense we talked about before the game and early going. Inside Dennis Rodman lost it, saved it, but it's Mark Jackson. Jackson accelerates. They throw it away. It was to a teammate, but he is not on the floor right now. Rick, Rick Smiths went went down and Hoiberg went up, but Rodman tries to shoot the ball, and then he tries to save it in. But it turns it over. Pitt. Longley comes up, gives it right back. Scotty from 15, too long. Dennis tried to tap it. MJ goes in. It goes out of bounds. Michael said it went off. Rick Smith, the official, said, nope. Indiana ball. 6.53 left in the third. Bulls lead it by nine. Atlantic storm, the ocean rose four feet high against George and Mary Lou Donatello's Anderson patio doors. The doors held. Eventually, the ocean receded. Worry proof, time proof, Anderson windows. for just $14.99, a JVC 27-inch stereo TV for just $3.99, and a 21 cubic foot refrigerator with three ice maker for just $5.98. So get into Montgomery Ward and get them while they're hot. Baseball fans, the Sox are back. Catch the first of Sports Channel's 99 games this Sunday. The Sox take on the Boston Red Sox, Frank Thomas, Albert Bell, and James Angio tells me that it looks like Wilson Alvarez will get the start in that one. Come Sunday here on Sports Channel. Inside they go Rick Smith. Out to Scott. 69 to 60. Bulls with the lead. Inside Dennis was open, just couldn't hang on to the ball. It looked like it might have been a curveball or something. 
Before the game, we talked about who we thought would be keys to the game. Rick Smits and Luke Longley were two of the guys with Reggie Miller. Smits and Longley, the two centers, started off very well for their team. Smits trying to keep it going, has it down low right now. Luke knocks it away and got a block for the foul call. You know, we also talked about bench play, and their right. bench outscored the Bulls 16 to 6 in that first. Yeah. Luke Longley picks up his fourth foul. And let's see, the Chiefs going to get ready to come in. Lou Canellis, what's happening? You talked about it. White Sox baseball coming up on Sports Channel. Albert Bell, Reggie Miller, by the way, had a message inside the locker room prior to tonight's game for Albert Bell. They're good friends. They share the same age in Arn Tellerman. Miller said, tell Albert to keep out of trouble, please. <laughs> Reggie saying keep out of trouble in Chicago, right? So Luke Longley leaves. Uh, Dale Davis leaves for them. Antonio Davis in. Schmitz makes one. Looks to cut the lead down to seven. Rodman comes over to pull out the rebound. 69-61. Come with some pressure defense. Dennis finds the chief in the lane. Robert couldn't get it, but Dennis is right there. John, you, you said it earlier. Bulls just cannot get anything going offensively as Rick Smith comes over and picks up the foul. Pip, Pip thought he had to beat <laughs> Hoiberg. That was all. He turned around and that Dutch tree was standing there, a little Dutch elm. <laughs> or a big Dutch elm, as the mm -hmm. case might be. Pip is double team. MJ with it in the corner with Reggie Miller right there. Michael Long Deuce puts it in. Got nine points in the first quarter, 13 in the second for the 22. Now he's got a couple here. He's got 26. Smits with it down low, backs in against Perry. Jump hook, tough shot. MJ tapped it. It goes right back to Mark Jackson. Reggie Miller for three. Rodman gets it out. 71-61, Bulls with the lead. And a foul. Fred Hoiberg will be called for the hold. Dennis Rodman, 12 rebounds, 4 assists. He has yet to score. Five of those 12 are offensive rebounds. Dale Davis comes back in. There's the rebound story. He just Bulls, came in. 29-16. Anthony Davis, hurting. Antonio Davis. Yeah, he just came in. He must be hurting. Uh, he just came in for Dale Davis, and now he's talking to the trainer. Scotty with the turnaround fake. Chief trying to post up. Rodman looking for the open man. You can see the defense for Indiana. Well, the Rodman. Chief. Oh. That ball was in the hole, too, I think. The Chief made a good move up and under. Schmitz, look at this, up and under. The ball is rolling up. It's going to hang. It's going to hang. And Dennis does get it off the rim. It was coming out. But it was on the rim. Good call. Jackson. Uh-oh. What have we got here? Harp. Call for the foul. And Harp says, wait a minute, you didn't see the first one to Tommy Nunez. Bulls fourth foul. Mark Jackson puts up the three and hits. It is 71-64 now, Bulls with the lead. This little half-court pressure that they've done, this double team, has really been effective. The Bulls just can't seem to solve it. MJ almost threw it away. Lob pass inside to Scotty. Pip backs in against Toy Burke, got some help, rebound tap. Dennis Rodman comes inside and got fouled. They say he wasn't shooting, but that's the fourth foul on the Pacers. Dennis with the rebound, and that goes to Dale Davis. Dennis gets a hand, taps it up to himself, and then Davis grabs him underneath. Back live, and Scotty gets it across the floor. Ron Harper with the open look, drains the three. That's another 52 bucks. The charitables from Pyrex Muffler and Break. 74-64 now. Bulls with the lead. Jackson backs his way in. 
Miller pops it inside Dale Davis with a fake. He's got to get a piece up and a foul called. Robert Parrish calls for the foul. For the best, best selection of Bulls hats, T-shirts, jackets, and other NBA merchandise, visit the official Bulls team shops at any one of the Chicagoland Montgomery Ward stores. Jason Caffey set to check in. Antonio Davis, Davis ready to check in. You can tell me you've got something you want to show me. You got it. The Duckworth family, 63 uh -huh. years of marriage, and they watch all the games on Sports Channel. God love you. How about that? Happy anniversary. And I know my favorite uh, Sticky my, fryer. Ti my time maker right. is uh, out there. Danny is watching at the Chef Shangri. Oh, yeah. Recovery. Had some surgery. Davis inside missed it and should pick up the foul. He did. You're right. So Dennis is going to get a couple free throws here. Or Scotty, one of them. It should be Dennis. I think you're right. Bulls are very slow to come up the floor. Luke Canellis, what's happening, partner? Get used to these Pacers, guys, because they're the Pacers for the rest of the century. Mark Jackson, Reggie Miller, and Jalen Rose all signed through the year 2000. Derek McKee signed through 2002. Antonio Davis and Dale Davis signed through 2003. This past offseason, the Davis brothers were free agents. They signed Antonio Davis to a seven-year, $38.5 million deal. They signed Dale Davis to a deal that will pay him six and a half mil this year, and they signed Reggie to a contract that'll pay him over 11 million this season. Well, remember this too, in, nine, in the, the year 2008, the Bulls owed a draft choice to Phoenix for Ed Neely if he's still playing. <laughs> Every year you pull that one out. Jackson in the lane, puts it in. He's got some very creative shots, isn't he? He does. He's a creative guy. He does that coming down the floor, finding the open man. He's averaging about a double-double. MJ with the top of the circle. Good fake. Had Miller going the other way, and Michael puts it in. 78-66. Bulls with the lead. They haven't been able to shake yeah. Indiana. Had a nine-point lead coming in here, and it's been sitting just around that. comes around the screen. Racing Caffey over to help. Rebound fought for good. Strong rebound. Inside Michael knocked it away. Tried to save it. He did. Reggie Miller for three. And Dennis Rodman lost the rebound. Dale Davis oh, gets John, it back. It's coming again. He won't miss a third. Oh! Man, I don't believe it. But I'd foul him. I would foul Dale Davis. And, and it, Dennis out. is just sort of holding him up. Pushing and shoving down there. I thought Dennis tried to hold him up as they were going out of bounds that time. Well, we got a commercial timeout. We'll tell you all about it. We come back. Offense gets the glory. But defense wins the game. This spring, they're the team to beat. I look at you, I see nothing but trouble. I don't like trouble. Jean-Claude Van Damme, Dennis Rodman, they don't play by the rules. Double team. Who does your hair? Sick bit of Roy. No hard jokes today, okay? This film is not yet rated. Opens everywhere April 4th. <laughs> to the home. Hey, help me figure this out. Usually the more gizmos you want, the more money you gotta spend. Then there's the Chevrolet Cavalier. It gives you a lot of the same gizmos that make expensive cars easy to live with for about half the price. If you forget to lock your doors, the Cavalier is still protected by a gizmo called a theft deterrent system. If you leave your dome light on, it turns it off. My house doesn't even do that. 
Get the car that's easy to own. A Cavalier. Genuine Chevrolet. The cars more Americans trust. Hello, this is Chester Drawers for Wix Furniture, Chicagoland's largest furniture retailer, with tremendous selection, guaranteed lowest prices, and unbeatable peace of mind warranties. Wix Okay, the shot is missed. They've had about four shots, and uh, here comes Antonio Davis, and it looks like Rodman trying to hold him up as they spin into the crowd. And Davis says, I don't want any part of this holding him up. So he catches him on the top of the head with an elbow, and well, they each got hit and assessed with a technical foul. And Michael Jordan gets the foul, so they, uh, Antonio Davis will be at the line to shoot two. <laughs> I'm just trying to walk away, see? You ever heard the one about, I, I got this land for sale, it's oceanfront property, <laughs> just outside of Phoenix? Really, I didn't want any part of it. Well, the Pacers are six and four in their last 10 games. The Bulls nine and one in their last 10, and uh, this team comes in here fighting for a playoff spot. They need one more win here to get to the 500 plateau. Every time you're below that, and you lose a game, it takes you two to make, make up the ground, now. yeah. Antonio Davis has got six points. Big difference at the line. That's where the Bulls are doing a great job. Getting there and making them. Second one. So he splits the free throws. Make it 78-67 now. Bulls with the lead. They need to get over half court. There's Pipster. FJ between the circles. Mike Scott. Going Jason Caffey out of the way. Caffey. CJ steps up. Lost it. Big possession now. Big possession right now for Indiana. 215 left in the third. 78-67 Bulls with the lead. Indiana's trying to stay in. Hoiberg with the fake. Back to Reggie. Hoiberg, pretty good shooter. Comes inside. Put the left hand, puts it in. 78-69 now, Bulls with the lead. Just get the feeling that Indiana's defense. Yeah, the Bulls are out of sync here. They don't have a center, and when they don't have a center, sometimes they have a problem. Scotty drove inside, and the foul will be called on Antonio Davis. When they don't have the center, they have too many guys, too many guys diving to uh, get into the lane. Bill Wennington to see his first action in a while. Wennington comes in. Jason Caffey will leave. Bill Wennington's been on the injured list. Oh, it's not going to be Jason. It's going to be Dennis Rodman who checks out. Jackson leaves. Best comes in for him. Pip splits him. 79-69 now. Bulls with the lead. Coming up in a minute and a half left in the third. Dale Davis makes the move in the lane, puts it up, and Ron Harper comes through to pull down the rebound. Hoiberg defensively on Scotty. Captain turns, looks, finds Bill Winnington. That's his spot on top. With just a little short, Jason Caffey fakes, comes inside, split the defenders, and Travis Penn pulls it away, comes up with a ball. Oh, Harp just missed a steal. Over to Reggie Miller. Reggie goes by, runs into Bill Wennington, and Wennington will be called for the foul. Barry Brown up applauding his team, hollering at him what he wants him to do. Lou 
Canellas, what's shaking? You know, Miller and Brown have always had a very tense relationship since Larry Brown's been head coach the last five years for the Pacers. But lately, especially going back to last year and this season with Rick Smith's out of the lineup, Larry Brown and Reggie Miller have gotten along great because Brown respects that Miller has improved his game, not points per game-wise, but he's improved his defense and he comes back and he rebounds the basketball much better than he did in the first six, seven, eight years of his career. Right now, the Bulls lead at 79-71. Steve Kerr trying to get a shot from 15, puts it in. Five points for Steve Kerr. 81-71 now, Bulls with the lead. Hoiberg drives in, lost it out of bounds, it's off the bull. Jalen Rose comes in, Reggie Miller sits down. Now remember, Best got a three-pointer at the end of the second quarter, and so did Hoiberg, so keep an eye on him. Davis, baseline jumper. Dale Davis taps it out. Hoiberg for three. Jalen Rose tapped it. Antonio Davis looking for the ball, finally has it. Kicks it out on top. Jalen Rose makes the move from 14. Very short. Terrible shot. Tapped out. Should be Bulls ball. Yes, it is. Eddie Rush over there uh, signaling it's the Bulls. Well, here comes Judley. Who for? Jason, maybe? Yes. Judd Bushler. Played well. He had, what, uh, 19, eight, 19 minutes the other night? Here comes LaSalle Thompson. This guy's a brute, isn't he? Oh, big guy. 6'10". They want a little pressure on the ball now. Somebody go to uh, get the ball. Right to the man out of bounds. Pacers have hit a dry spot here, one out of their last eight. Yep. Throws it away. Ten seconds left in the quarter. Travis Benz pushes it up the floor. Looks to be over. Two seconds. One second. Got it off in time, but it won't go. We played three periods, and the Bulls lead the Pacers 81 to 71. W1 by Raymond Wilde. The cutting edge in time. Time for the next generation. W1 by Raymond Wilde. Score big with Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny in Space Jam coming to video. Feeling down, a little flat, stretched a little too thin. These guys have the cure, and now they're making house calls. Space Jam for sale on video March 11th. At Liberty Auto City, everything we do is based on one somewhat selfish desire. We want you as a customer for life. So to that end, we proudly offer this. Almost two-thirds of our customers are repeat customers. Visit just once and you'll understand why. Liberty Auto City, 1000 East Park Avenue in Libertyville. Another outstanding value from Patrick. At Patrick GMC Truck in Libertyville, time is running out. Patrick has slashed prices on every remaining new 96 in stock. Every Jimmy, every Suburban, every Sonoma, every Safari. Every new 96 has been reduced for immediate clearance. But hurry in, time is running out. At Lake County's number one GMC truck dealer, Patrick GMC Truck. We always stock more and we always sell them for less. That's value, that's Patrick. Sports Channel's coverage of Chicago Bulls basketball is brought to you in part by Ameritech, your link to better communication. United Airlines is proud to be a participating sponsor of tonight's program. Come fly Chicago's hometown airline. Come fly our friendly skies. And by American National, the bank for business. I just told you Reggie Miller's relationship with his head coach Larry Brown has improved over the last year and a half. 
Ironically, his relationship with Michael Jordan, which has been tense at best the last five, six, seven years, has also improved. Reggie told us prior to tonight's game in the locker room that they got together over the summer when they were shooting the movie Space Jam, guys, and they had a chance to sit down and talk, and it was really the first opportunity that these guys had away from the basketball court where they were able to sit down and spend some time together, and they talked about a number of different things, and from what I understand, Reggie said that everything from the past has been cleared up with Michael. They get along, and they look forward to playing each other each and every night. Steve Kerr has it on the right side. They Somebody did improve it. Steve got pushed out of bounds and Phil up hollering. Here's our Ginsana game summary. Bulls, nice job. All three quarters, they lead this one We're by 10 now. Let's take a look at our second page. Field goal. Bulls have continued to shoot it pretty well. Three-pointers, neither team doing it great well. Indiana doing very well. And you saw free throws as Rick Smiths has it. They've hit one out of their last nine shots here. Side. Smith's fadeaway jumper. We told you he struggles in the second half. He just seems to lose his own strength. Worcester picks up his dribble. They put a lot of pressure on full court. It's been bothering the Bulls. Smith's with 14 points in the first half, just three here in the second, but he's got another rebound. 81 71 Bulls. Best for three. 81 yes, 74 Bulls. Bushy with it on the way. Steve Kerr. Tough fadeaway jumper from Steve Kerr. Larry Brown up near half court. A little bit out of the coach's box. Best with it on the wing. On top for Davis inside Rick Smith. Smith hit it back the way and a foul ball down loop. He's fifth. Reggie Miller will check back in. Fred Hoiberg leaves. Goes down low. Smith. And it knocked away by Luke. 83-74. Bulls with the lead. Well, she gets it right back. Michael had it knocked loose. It comes over right next to us. It'll be Bulls ball with 12 on the shot clock. So Bushler will trigger it in. Bushy started to go, now stops. Shot clock at six, at five. Luke, top of the circle, jumper hit. Bail him out, the time was running out. Luke ties his season high of 16. Two centers doing a lot of scoring in this game. Luke knocked it away. It ends up right in the hands of Reggie Miller for three. Missed again, and Michael right there. Rodman set the screen. MJ lost it in a foul called as he goes to the basket. Galen Rose reached in, grabbed the foul. Big basket by Luke that last time, and now Michael just comes in here zipping around some guys, and Rose grabbed him as before he got to the hoop. Chief's going to come in here for Luke. MJ rattles that one home. Our next television game on Sports Channel will be on Tuesday. We'll be in Boston. Now, note the times here. Game time at 5.30, tip-off 6 o'clock Tuesday on Sports Channel. We'll be in Boston. They gave the Knicks all they could want tonight. Dino Raja and the guys will be there Tuesday here on Sports Channel. Rick Fox is playing well for them, too. He's doing a nice job. Former Chicago and Antoine Walker. Kentucky, his ball club. Yeah. Mike Carmel kid, isn't he? You bet. Yeah. 30 for Mike. 87-74 Bulls, and now Indiana's got to start hitting a couple shots. Smith, fadeaway jumper. No nope. got him in the air. Yep, he did. Bulls. 
Luke Canellis, what do you got, buddy? Beginning of the broadcast, Tommy, we talked about the surgery that Rick Smith's had on both feet in the month of September. He missed the first 30 games. He is still not 100%. I talked to him prior to tonight's game. The feet are still painful and sore. Limits his practice time and his mobility on the floor. The big question, I asked him if it was a career-threatening problem. And he said that we'll see this offseason, we'll see that when he gets off the feet, if the feet get much better. If they don't, he's in big trouble. He said they can't operate anymore because there's no scar tissue left. Well, Lou, you know, you know my epitaph, don't you, after all those years I played? I know it. I don't. I told you my feet were killing me. <laughs> what he wants written on the tombstone, I promised him I'd help. MJ. Looking for somewhere. Comes inside, hangs in a foul call as Michael goes to the basket. On Tuesday, March 25th, Bulls battle the Dallas Mavericks. It's Sprint Yellow Pages Umbrella Night. First 10,000 fans in the United Center will receive a Bulls umbrella. Compliments of Sprint Yellow Pages. MJ. Michael's first free throw miss. Man, most... Yeah, he doesn't look like the guy in casino tonight. Oh, the waiter? Yeah. He looks more like the waiter in casino. <laughs> he looked like a heavy last time I saw. 88-76, Bulls with the lead. They just can't put the Pacers away so far. They keep going down to their big guy. Smith's nice fake and a good reverse layup. 88-78. Bulls hold on to the lead. Oh. He lost it. Mark Jackson right there. Travis Best is on the other side. Reggie trailing. Best takes the three. Penetrates in the lane. Kicks it. Smith's baseline jumper. Nope. He continues to struggle here in the second half. Steve Kerr comes up with it. Smith puts him down. He got tripped. It is a physical ball game both ways. Steve Kerr thought about the three. Bates, jumper, nope. Antonio Davis with a rebound. That's the third rebound for Antonio Davis. The circle jumper, Michael right there, and Rick Smith will pick up the foul. That was a little long for Antonio Davis. Smith's foul, his, his third, the third on the team, and there's the... Nope. <laughs> Help him up, huh? Time out. 7.42 left. The Bulls lead it 88 to 78. Chevy Tahoe, the mother of all sport utilities, the sport utility of all mothers. This is a quiz. What do you see? Some people see things as they are. Some people see things as they should be. And sometimes it's simply hard to tell the difference. Polly, the Honda of Honda stores on Milwaukee Avenue in Libertyville. Lake County's number one volume super Chevy dealer is Shepard Chevrolet. 14 acres of new and used cars, trucks, and vans to choose from. Gigantic inventory, high volume, rock bottom prices. Shepard Chevrolet has hundreds of new van conversions, new cars and trucks, row after row of used vehicles, a great service department, and Lake County's largest body shop. For gigantic selection and super deals, come to Shepherd Chevrolet, Waukegan Road at Route 176 in Lake Bluff. We will always beat your best deal.
go on the road with the Hawks Wednesday. They travel north of the border to battle Toronto. Free game starts at 6, opening face-off 6.30 Wednesday on Sports Channel. Mark Jackson uh, is on target here to depose John Stockton as the assist leader this year. There's Dennis and Phil talking a little bit. He's got eight assists in tonight's game. MJ with it. Again, the Bulls spread out a little wider this time. Michael looking to make an opening. Oh, Rick yeah. Smith Rick picks Smith. up the foul. It's not on you. You want it, Reggie? We give it to you. He says it's not on you. It's on Rick Smith. It's his fourth. Michael goes behind the screen, goes up for the shot, and Rick Smith's right here. About that elbow pad he gets him. And got him with the body as well. Larry Brown was getting a little excited. A number of people said that Larry Brown, when there was the altercation with Davis and Dennis Rodman, that he threw a water bottle onto the floor. I saw a water bottle go spinning out there. Yeah, I saw the bottle, but they, there are a number of people that said that Larry Brown threw it. What if he hit anything? Reggie Miller with it now. Make it 89-78. Scotty really watching Mark Jackson trying to keep him from getting the ball. Miller with Michael right there. Screen down. Inside Smith's jump hook. Oh, he has really struggled here in the second half. 89-78. They've gone to three guards. Michael on the way down the lane. Reggie, Reggie Miller. Miller picks up the personal foul. The, uh, they're in the penalty, so Michael will shoot. What they've done is they've, they've got three pretty good shooting guards out there now. They've got Travis Best. They've got uh, Reggie Miller and Jackson. Then you got that big guy down low, and then you got a great rebounder in Davis. So they're really trying to get the ball pounded down low, and if it's not there, just fire it back out for the three. Michael... Michael's, uh, what, four? 33 he's got now. Four out of six, five out of seven here. He's been shooting very well at the free throw line. Mark Jackson. This is how Scotty right there. Yeah, this is how versatile Pip is, all right? He goes out and guards the... Away and a jump ball is called. Go ahead with your story. He goes out Scotty. and he guards their point guard. The guy that's leading the, the league in assist. He goes out, and does a pretty good job on him. All right, Again, the Chief will go up here now with Davis. Trying to completely deny Mark Jackson the ball. And then Scotty comes in and taps it away from Rick Smith. Smith's laboring a little bit to get up the floor. Rolls again with that wide set as Chief started up high. Michael tried to go around. Took oh, he pushed him that time. <laughs> Best gets it up the floor. Reggie Miller with the slam, and Michael is just now getting up. Delay a game. Well, it looked like Michael gets pushed here. You tell me what you think here. Now he's going for the ball. The hand on his back. <laughs> Scotty brings it down off the glass. Nope. Mark Jackson brings it up. It's an 11 point Bulls lead. Jackson spins and he throws it away. Oh, no. The Bulls got a piece of it. They want a timeout. 5.59 left. The Bulls lead at 91 to 80. Um, I think they're expecting big things out of um, Frank Thomas and myself. Uh, and they should be. You know, they should be expecting some great things from the Chicago White Sox, and hopefully we can give them a uh, tremendous treat to, to watch us this year. Freshness Hotline, what's the problem? Man, my party is lame. I think I got some skunky beer. Sir, relax. When was your beer born? Born? What are you talking about? Doesn't have a born-on date? A what? Do you have any Budweiser? No, man, you gotta help me. 
Okay, remain calm, sure. We're on our way. New Born on Dating from Budweiser. Because fresh beer tastes better. Go, 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 go. Sir, put down this gunky beer and slowly back away. Keeping your business running like clockwork. We understand how important that is. That's why Chicago's hometown airline, United, gives you over a thousand flights in and out of O'Hare, with more service to more cities than any other airline. How is it we understand business so well? Because our over 50,000 employees are business owners themselves, the employee owners of United. Come fly our friendly skies. We told you prior to the game that they played that in your face. They get up off the line like Miami and Cleveland and New York do. They're doing it right now in the fourth quarter, and the Bulls are starting to wear down. They're going to have to hold on to that lead. Point number two, Dennis Rodman. He's back from his suspension, and as Red, you talked about it prior to tonight's game, he always plays well in that first game back. Last year, he had 20-plus rebounds against the Knicks coming off of the headbutt suspension. Tonight, he's already got 16 boards. Back to you guys. In the total rebounds, 43 well, to in 28. The, Tommy, in this quarter, Bulls have outscored him 10 to 9, so the scoring is not big time for either team. Jackson drives in, puts oh. it up. Scotty right there to fight with Dennis for the rebound. Pip did a good job defensively, then picks up the board. And he lets Dennis get down and get in position. Jason Caffey comes oh, over. That's a foul. He just ran over Reggie. Cannot put these guys away. Get close. Uh oh, nobody's guarding Reggie. He's got a. Oh man, he had a wide open three. Steve Kerr comes away with it. Pitt, he's got MJ with him. And Scotty got fouled going to the basket. Dale Davis picks up the foul. Pip, another big time game. He's got uh, 21 points. He's got nine assists. He's got five rebounds. Steal. Bulls with the lead. He's got him right there. Good luck, this. Great help by Jason. Just came out for a second, then got right back. Antonio Davis inside, and Jason picks up the foul. That's not the worst thing in the world. Put Antonio Davis at a free throw line rather than giving those outside guys some threes to shoot at. It's going to be on the side to, to play. Larry Brown was not in complete agreement with that call. Mark Jackson with three off the rim. Steve Kerr right there. Sweeper. <laughs> <laughs> 93 to 80 now. Bulls. A basket here would do wonders. Steve got three rebounds and they all came big time. Oh, what do you got, Steve? Scotty in the lane, hangs off the glass. Nope. Rebound. Dale Davis gets it out to Jackson. Three on three. Travis Best inside and a foul call. Travis Best ends up in the crowd. Right in dark camera. They're going to give him two shots. He wasn't he wasn't even going close, Tommy, but uh, watch this. He gets the ball. He gets underneath, and he just... Now watch him throw the ball. I'm trying to save it. Hold on. Okay, he was the overruled officials, this yep. time. Okay. So. Eddie Rush says it was on the pass. Yeah, it was. Steve with the foul, but both teams now uh, will be in a penalty. We've got 445. Whoa, Dennis just missed a foul. And sometimes that's what happens when you just yeah. miss a steal. Right. Davis Steve. had six points in the first quarter, and now he's got one, two more here. 
they are really pressured. Defensively, the ball. this is one of the very good uh, Indiana. Team. Good pass over to Michael. And, oh, Dennis. Kathy couldn't hang on out of bounds that it belonged to Indiana. They can cut it below double figures. Indiana struggling here in the second half. They're shooting 42 percent at the at the half. They were uh, what 50 58. Reggie comes around the screen with Michael right there. Back to Mark Jackson who comes inside, missed it, rebound tap. Kerr got it again and got fouled, and he got taken down hard, but I don't think it was intentional by Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson goes in with it, comes up short. Steve grabs it, and down they both go. Oh, boy. So Steve Kerr marches down to this end. Uh, free throw has been a friend of the bully pulls this this quarter. I was talking to Steve before the ball game and you know how Johnny you know how a great shooter like he like Steve Kerr is. I was talking to Steve saying boy you haven't even touched the rim on these free throws. He went back about 15 games and named every miss from the free throw line that he had. Remember I missed these two in a row here and I missed this one there. <laughs> He's that kind of a shooter. It really, truly bugs him when he misses a free throw. Looking for his ninth point of the game. Rick Smith's back in. Luke Longley gets the call again. Two big guys are about ready to ice up, I thought. There's a foul trouble. Smith, Jackson, Perot, and Miller with four each for the Bulls. Luke has five. But they got to go down to Smith and then have a kick out here. Does just that. Scotty there to double team and a foul call. Scotty Scott. comes up and picks up the personal. Rick Smiths, 21 points, 10 in that first period. Four here. 95-83 now. my discover card statement well I write but a lot of people don't realize I make wonderful pictures too and what I do is I paint on acetate with India ink I went into Barnes and Noble one time and bought three books I myself had written <laughs> and I, I presume I got a royalty as, as well as the bonus from discover cards how many credit cards make a statement like that it pays to discover I think that's me use it where you see the Nova sign it's smart time on the Mazda Protégé LX Sports Sedan, 13.445. Add cruise and power everything, and the price goes to... Add air conditioning, and the price jumps to... Add four-speaker cassette, and the price soars to... Add the best basic warranty in its class, and hey, you get the idea. Now get the passion. And 2.9 for 36. While the competition sleeps, winners work hard to be their best. Hard work pays off. That's why cellular users in Chicago ranked Ameritech highest in customer satisfaction in a survey by J.D. Power & Associates. So when choosing a cellular phone company, choose the one that works hard for you. Ameritech. 
It's a winning team. Sign up now and get a free phone, free activation, plus free nights and weekends all year. Ameritech, your link to better communication. Our producer director on Sports Channel is James A. Angio, associate producer Doug Stanton. Production manager is Sheila Brown. Joe Groove with us tonight as our assistant director. The White Panthers back after the line. Watch this play. Dennis Rodman throws it and goes to the basket. Luke Longley with a drop pass. Dennis up off the glass. And they love it here. Of course, the timeout. Here he comes in. This is the way to work it. You go into your center position. You come down the lane. The man turns his head. The left. We got a foul away from the ball. Scotty Pippen picks up the personal foul, the block. Both teams in the penalty. He's got the right to that space, says Phil Jackson. He doesn't have to move out of there. You can't just shove him out. Scotty's okay. shaking his head talking to Tommy Nunez. Re Reggie Miller hasn't scratched in this period. But... Wow. There's Scotty talking to Tommy. Luke Canellis, what's up? Reggie Miller hasn't scratched in this period. He's had another rough night, Red. Six of 20 from the field. Remember the first time they were here in December, Reggie was just five of 18 for 13 points. Right. MJ spins around. It was a very low scoring game. They would have shot the wind at the end, but I think it was Askew or somebody had a shot at the. Fred Hoiberg, good defense. 81 79 was the final in that one. Bulls came back in the second half, trailing at halftime. Oh, he just dropped him. In. Best. Luke picks up his dribble. Finds Scotty on the wing. Shot clock at two. At one. Scotty stayed away. Couldn't get it. Steve Kerr got <laughs> hammered with an elbow. Hoiberg moves up the floor with a left hand. Missed it. Dennis with a rebound. Not only the rebound, but the quick kick out. Scotty lost it. Gets it back to Kerr. And the Bulls will reset. MJ with a post up with Reggie Miller on him and Reggie Miller will be called for the hold and MJ will go to the line. Mike without a basket here in this quarter he's been to the line eight times here. Jason Caffey set to check in. He might be coming for Luke. Well, we talked about what a difference Rick Smith's was first half to second half. And John, he's got a couple points. He's got some free throws in the second half, but he just was not the same player in the second half. And you can tell Indiana's missing that one extra player, that guy that they need inside to score. They just don't have him. Well, that's Derek McKee. He's on the injured list. One of their starters. He is a good one. Travis Best. Gets it to Reggie Miller. Reggie for three. 99-88 now. Full court pressure put on by Indiana. Michael looks up the floor, decides to slow it down. Scotty with a post up with Hoiberg on him. Scotty backs in. Dennis from 12. Back of the rim. Missed. And here comes Travis Best. They can cut it under double figures with a minute 46 remaining. Reggie for three. Of course. And nobody goes to him. Of all, let everybody go for the two-pointer. You got to stop Reggie. 27. 99-91 now Bulls with the lead. Eight-point game. Bulls now playing defensively. MJ. Fade. Baseline. Oh. Jumper off the glass. His first basket in this quarter, and he makes a big tough one. 38, they got to take a timeout. Timeout in the end, a minute 24 left. The Bulls lead it 101 to 91.
Fresh this hotline, what's your problem? We're stuck with Skunky. Me So it's not Budweiser. No. Remain calm, sir. We're on our way. Next time, look for this. New Born On Dating from Budweiser, because fresh beer tastes better. Fresh this hotline. Could we order some Chinese? His kids are in college. You'd look at him and you'd say, he's got it made. But now it's not about making it, it's about keeping it. You can't assume you're going to coast home from here. He knows that, and his broker must have known it all along. Sure, it's about keeping it, but it's also about enjoying it. How's he doing it? More research, insight, understanding. Payne Weber, invest with more intelligence. Pick up the sports section of the Chicago Tribune. It's the in-your-face, no-holds-barred, take-no-prisoner, show-no-mercy, tell-it-like-it-is, on the glass edge of your seat. This could be wild, extreme, close-up. Now I've seen everything. You ain't seen nothing yet. This you gotta see. You gotta be crazy. Why didn't I think of that? Heart-stopping, gut-wrenching. You want intense? Oh, so you intense. It's back, back, way back. It's gone! Kind of sports section. Pick up the sports section of the Chicago Tribune. Our Chicago Bulls Budweiser players of the game. The Bulls starting front line, 38 points, 28 rebounds, 14 assists for these guys. A fantastic evening. They are our players of the game. Good job. Came back very strong. Doug Stanton made that vote tonight. Not very often you and, a guy, you and I will agree with Doug. It was time, though, tonight. MJ walks out quickly. Bulls with a 10-point lead. Seems to have had a stranglehold on that the whole game. At 124. Oh. Lob pass inside. Will Davis. Davis. And Dennis will pick up the foul. Dale Davis is. Game's decided by five points or left. Bulls are 11 and 4, 10 or more, 35 and 2. Average margin of victory, 12 and a half. Dale Davis, you're saying what? This is not his strong suit here. That one didn't make it to the rim. Oh. <laughs> Overhead scoreboard, Howard. Oh. Michael. Get up, get up, get up. And that's where you'd like to see the second one go, red and time. Would they foul Pip here? Yeah, yeah they right away. Foul right away. Hoiberg picks up his third. Those two have been talking for a while. They're just talking basketball. Hit 23. Well, it's a big difference oh right there. Yeah. 16 more points make it 17 now. More points from the free throw line. The Bulls lead it 103 to 92. Mark Jackson. And a foul call down low. Steve Kerr will pick up the personal foul. <laughs> Dag, nabbit. Indiana's got a tough road, Johnny. Not only are they trailing the Orlando's and Cleveland's who they'd like to catch, they've got a tough schedule. They got the Bulls a couple more times. Atlanta is in there a couple times. The Knicks, they, their schedule is not really in their favor as they go down the stretch. It's what they'd like to have. You know, you'd like to be done with those kind of guys if you're trying to chase to get into the playoffs. Oh, John Dennis. Oh, where's Pip? There it is Jason underneath the basket. Scotty. Quick pass inside there's Jason, and he gets fouled by Mark Jackson. Just under a minute remains now. Bulls lead it 103-94. Jason Caffey gets a pair. We'll take a look at the standings in the Eastern Conference here in just a second. We talked about this before the ball game. Here's what you got. The Bulls obviously in pretty good shape. Then it's the Knicks and Detroit. But down at the bottom, Cleveland and Orlando, Indiana, just out by four games in the loss column, and Washington right after them. But Indiana with a tough road. Now, their schedule is not easy. 
Dennis tapped it, tried to come up with it. Loose ball out of bounds. Fred Hoiberg stepped out. It'll be Bulls ball. They wanted Jason to step down a little bit. And Michael comes up with a fresh 24 on the shot clock. MJ out near the Bulls. Head near the middle of the floor. Just dribbling the ball. Hoiberg comes up now to double team. They find Scotty. Baseline Jason Caffey. Steve Kerr. To the corner. Dennis for three. Hit the side of the backboard. Hoiberg pushes it up. Mark Jackson looks for the opening. Dale Davis back to Hoiberg. Penetrates inside, goes right to the basket and lays it in. The Bulls do not have to shoot again. They just have to get it across half court. Michael did that. 23 in a row. They got his number here in this building. Two seconds, one second. That will do it. Handshakes all around as these two teams with a lot of respect for each other. There have been some hard fought games there back and forth. Dennis looking for where to throw that jersey. And now let's go to Luke Canellis, who's standing by with our British Airways. Michael Jordan inside. It's getting tough, Lou. Boy, that was a tough one. They had Jackson back, they had Smiths back. Those were the old Pacers, weren't they? Yeah, I mean, this team's going to present a lot of problems to get in the playoffs. You know, they admit they're mature players, veteran players. They know how to play the game. They miss a lot of easy shots. Reggie missed a lot of easy shots. And, you know, he makes some of those threes. Make sure you know we get, we're down the wire. We you talk about, you know, Reggie before the game said that because he spent some time with you on the movie set this summer, that your relationship with him has improved, that you guys had a chance to talk. Can you expand on that? It's just a mutual respect. You know, I think, uh, you know, we had a chance to play against each other, play on each other's side, and, you know, I got to know him as a person. He still competes hard, you know, each, each time we go against each other, but it's a mutual respect there, and, you know, I'm glad I had a chance to sit down and talk to him and, you know, just spend some quality time with him to see what type of person he is, and, you know, he's a great competitor. In Washington, I showed you the back page of the New York Post. You said, bring it out when it's time. It's time. Are you excited about this? They're the number two team in the East. You guys are number one. We're looking forward to the challenge. I mean, uh, we defended our home court with the one game. They're looking to try to come in and show that they can defend their home court. And, you know, they, 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 they feel they improved. And I think they have over the you know, course of the season. But there's a chance for us to go up there without Tony and you know, see how well we can play in Madison Square Garden. It's a big game. I look forward to that game. And you know, we just got to go out and play our, our type of basketball. They're going to play with a lot of intensity, a lot of energy. It's a playoff style. And you know, those types of games I enjoy. Congratulations. Sure. Michael Jordan, after the Bulls' 104-96 victory, the New York Knicks are next. And so is Steve Cashel, right after this.